Yo, 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 what's up? It's the Grand Moonin Exhibition. I'm Duke. Joined with me is, of course, Sloshula and Surisei. What's up? Hi, everyone. Hey, oh, how's it going? I'm so excited to see this because, like, I mean, Moonin just came out. I've played her. She's fun, um, but I'm not a pro player. No, this is uh, <laughs> this is going to be cool. So for people who don't know what's going on uh, today, we've taken the top six or not the top six. Right there, we've taken six top North American players who play Scythe or Bow, of course, the weapons of Moon and put them together into this kind of fun double elimination bracket. So the players we've got today, Sandstorm, Faison, Java, Pierre, Cody, Travis and Ethan all here to play some Moon and for y'all, which is going to be really oh, cool. heavy, Exciting. heavy, hitters. definitely My heavy goodness. hitters in there. Like, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I don't even like, I mean, what else do you, can we say, right? Like everyone <laughs> knows all those names from North yeah. America. Everyone's hyped on, on Moonin and, oh, and Hugan, you know, of course. Of course. But, yeah. yeah. She's know. been out for about 24 hours now. Just Just, yeah, I, th hours? I think, yeah, I think close to like maybe like 26, 27, <laughs> so brand right. new. Maybe. So I It'll wonder, yeah, I wonder how people are going to kind of like, fair if they're gonna find a bunch of stuff that like i did like i'm looking for on like bow uh, if you hit like a d light up close you can neutral sig but yeah i don't know yeah, Dude, what do you think i'm, I'm excited because uh yeah I, I wasn't able to find anything like true like d light and sig i think there was like a five frame window um in yeah. that. i think d light down sig is actually a two frame window so i'll be really Ooh. excited if someone does that one um but i'm also really curious um serious i know like you've probably had the most time to play uh since we uh went live uh <laughs> how much how much have you played moon in is there something that you were having fun doing uh i've played moon in a fair bit to be honest um and i did try out some of those combos i couldn't get anything less than two frames uh but most of my my uh, combos into signatures were about five to eight frames um i just had a lot of fun with her d sigs in general yeah. her side oh, yeah. sig on bow has so much coverage um it'll be really interesting to see what what goes on with that i saw a couple pros um kind of just just use that side sig for amazing offstage coverage so it'll be interesting to see what they bring to today's exhibition all right slosh i, I gotta ask what is the one signature that is going to make you pop up. I know the answer for myself, which is why I get to ask this. What's like, there's, there's one single thing yeah. that is going to make you pop up. What's it going to be? I think if someone gets a Scythe D Sig spike um, off stage, like especially if it's gravity canceled. Yes. I'm, I'm popping off yes. 100%. The reversal power of that is going to be so cool. We're going to get oh, a lot of opportunities because yeah. again today, we're only watching Hoonin or Mugen today. They get uh, the full pick of whatever skin they want to do. But of course, it is the Moonin and Hoonin base uh, moveset. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I don't know. Is there anything else we got to say before we start getting into these matches? Um, if you want to see the bracket, I don't know if we have exclamation point bracket set up, mm -hmm. but I can tell y'all real quick that we've got Jav and Pierre are going to fight it out. The winner of that has to go on into Sandstorm. And then on the <laughs> other side, we've got Cody, Travis and Ethan. And the winner into that is going to go against Phazon. So Sandstorm yeah. and Phazon as like the two highest PR, highest seed players with these weapons, of course, uh, get the buys. They're uh, kind of arguably the favorites of this pool. Yeah, I, I, you know, with with uh, Sandstorm and all of his scythe shenanigans and Phazon and I mean his his Jiro, right? I feel like that's I, I think people expected the buy for them for the for the round one. Uh, but who actually who are we watching round one? Who are we watching first? By the way, yeah, we've got Cody Travis and Ethan uh, Suris. Who's who's your favorite in this one? Like full bias, I want to know which one. <laughs> uh, like you okay, can ignore so PR. I, which one do you? Want? I have been a fan of Ethan since he first came up on the scene. Um, and I believe that was uh, his first BCX when he was playing with Sandstorm, um, oh, if I'm not mistaken. 2018? That yeah, was 2018. Was a years back. Yeah. Um, so I've always been a fan of Ethan. Um, but Cody Travis has, has uh, been playing great recently. Um, I'm going to have to go with Cody Travis for this one, but I'm always rooting for Ethan on the inside. Oh. Okay, you went for the option <laughs> select. You gave, you gave the yeah. no answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of both. Either way, Cyrus gets uh, gets a, a big yes, a big victory. It's all dubs for me. <laughs> yeah, all <laughs> dubs. <laughs> all right, Slosh, I, now, now you got to go up against Cyrus. Are you going to go against a, him? I'm going to give uh, a straight answer here, okay. right? Um, I think I think we're gonna see some incredible scythe stuff from Ethan in this one. So I'm gonna I'm putting my my hat on the side of Ethan here. As much as I know Cody Travis has I think a Diana right for the bow. I don't know Ethan Ethan has that scythe and I think that's gonna I think that's gonna be huge. So yeah, Ethan I think Ethan's got this one. 
<laughs> you know, uh, personally, I do kind of agree with you. Not that I think Cody Travis, I think Cody Travis is actually higher PR, but the fact mm -hmm. of the matter is Cody Travis is a little bit known for the blaster, is a little bit known for uh, the uh, Barasa or even the Reno, uh, which doesn't necessarily translate. But like you said, he does have that Diana. So it would be cool to see yeah. if he leans into that boat. In but uh, I think I think we're getting ready now. Yeah, I think we're ready. I think I think I think I think we're actually getting into some games. Oh man, I can't <laughs> wait. I'm I'm yeah. so ready to see like high high tier gameplay from Moon because like I, I watched uh, the video from Egg Soup. They, he mm -hmm. put he puts Which up these one? videos like oh the the one oh is it like Wowzers Moonin or something like that? He put out right? Wowzers Hugin like today, which was hilarious. What? I haven't seen that one. Oh yeah, I, it's I, great. Oh man. Okay, well, I watched the day one video from okay. him, and so that's the highest tier gameplay I've seen. And with X, it's arguable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into it. They're both on the, the Hoogan skins. Uh, we've got uh, Cody Travis on, like, base Hoogan, and then Ethan's mm -hmm. on the DJ Duck. So I, I think Ethan's giving as much bias as possible. Ooh. Like, I have to root for Ethan. Oh, yeah. I the like DJ Duck choice, yeah. <laughs> definitely winning the skin game here, Ethan is, like... Come on, come on! Look, look at, <laughs> look at her! Like, <laughs> Yo, he did it right. He's the first pro player we've seen on the DJ Duck Hoogan, so like now no one else can run it. Yeah, this that's, is even this is even skin. Yeah. yeah, but also funny enough, Ooh, nice. uh, no surprise that we're on the Mammoth too. Fortress also. So like, th these guys are trying. Yeah, you know that neutral scythe is uh, that neutral sig is is one to watch out for. It doesn't connect true, but it just used correctly i think it can really catch people off guard yeah it's, it's really also got good. a lot of active frames too right mm -hmm. like it kind of Woo! a bit more than people expect right Woo <clears throat> nice one ethan all right all right coming in clutch with the was that side sig heck yeah, yeah man it's ethan wild the first stock he's using Freak. the bow for the damage build and then he went for the scythe for the ko which is like not exactly how you normally do it usually scythe is your damage build because it's super string heavy and bow's got really light recovery oh i think oh. Oh yeah! Unfortunate the stuffed recovery. Yeah, I caught the recovery there, but yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of with you two here, especially since Ethan is more known for the scythe. You'd think that he'd be going more for like, yeah, from white to like at least dark orange with the scythe as much as he can. Right, and then just trying to confirm with the bow. Right, right. Especially with like the the side sig and the down sig on the bow, really good KO potential. Well, we're Cody seeing Travis them looking comfortable on the bow. Yeah, they're um, starting to yeah. lean into really the building that damage up, taking the lead again slightly. Oh, that D sig Ooh. bounces! Right, just with a little bit of splash oh! damage. Oh, and the and the side sig to finish. That was good. He, he kind of like caught the dodge there because I think uh, Cody Travis spot dodge, but because it's, there's three shots on the bow side sig, that last one spiked Cody through the soft platform, man with fortress for the KO. That was nice. He's really leaning into that side sig too. He's like <laughs> he he's really playing is. like we were in uh in testing where it's just like yeah. using that side <laughs> Oh yeah. I, oh and I mean right away Cody is evening up. I mean if it's if it stays like this, it's been pretty like immediately back and forth, but I mean Ethan's been getting the stock got the stock first last time, so Cody's gotta yeah. Cody's really gotta pick it up for the last stock. Yeah, and he's been pretty good at just evening it up and trying to build the damage back up. Um he's got the scythe now. And uh, it looks like he is just not feeling as comfortable with it. Yeah, you don't see much Cody Travis scythe, honestly. I'm I'm excited to see him really pop off on some scythe strings. I want to see a big a big gimp from Cody. I don't think he's gonna even lean into it that much. Like we saw him throw it away and do more with the unarmed. So yeah. I'm feeling it's just gonna be bow all day from Cody Travis. Ethan trying to catch him out with that neutral sig, but Cody just out of range. Yeah, Cody's not falling for it. Uh, Ethan's right. thrown out a few of them, and Cody's just not falling for it at all. No, this is a great position. So Cody, notice how he's not trying to get on top of that soft platform at all. I feel like he's a little worried about those. those it's like prime territory for a bow neutral sig. I will say, I think Ethan's falling into the uh, new legend trap of like trying to KO with sigs too much. Like he's got delight yeah. recovery, and he's mostly <laughs> throwing out sigs. Yeah, you're totally right. And uh, now, I mean. Ooh. Oh, I was gonna say. I mean, it's really close. Any any sig really could do it, but oh, oh, oh nice. You were right. He, he was leading into the the unarmed. That was great. Great job. That's game one for for Ethan. All right, Sirius. What does Cody Travis have to do to make the adjustment? Be his uh, coach. So I think uh, just from the that first match, Bo is definitely the the strong suit. So maybe stick with Bo for a little bit. Um, 
you know, he was able to pull out a good amount of damage with the scythe when he had it, but he just seemed more comfortable with the bow. Uh, and similarly, I think Ethan kind of struggled a little bit with with bow. He wasn't able to to build the lead and keep the lead as much uh, in that third stock while he had the bow. So I think they might need to be sticking with the weapons that they had initially. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it just seems like, you know, they're doing better with the weapons that we already, like we mentioned before, that they're kind of more known for, right? right. And you're right, like Ethan near the end, it got really, really mm. close considering the lead that he, he had at first in for that sure. final stock. But now we're seeing Cody uh, started off with the scythe, unfortunately. You have no control over your initial spawn weapon, and so he's kind of yeah. forced onto it right now. But he right. knows for sure his next weapon is going to be a bow, so I feel like oh, snap. he's going to try and push Ethan away and then grab a bow here. I mean, Cody is holding on, though. He's uh, Damage is pretty equivalent right now. He's hit That down sig was beautifully placed and mm -hmm. brought them just neck and neck again. So he's definitely holding his own with that scythe right now. But you can, even, you can kind of see Ethan more comfortable. When he does, I mean, he gets was that, uh, a soft sideline into recovery. He got it. Yeah, but that's yeah, Cody got it in the really air. close. It's still really, really close, though. Cody really can get <laughs> a little bit of anything, and it'll just be immediately back to, to even. Oh, nice Unfortunately, recovery. he wasn't able to make it back on that first stock, but yeah, he's going to be looking to close this third stock for Ethan pretty quickly, I think, especially now that he has the bow. Oh, just underneath it. Shaved her hair a little bit there. Oh. <laughs> pluck some feathers. Oh, extra yeah, opportunity. pluck some feathers. Oh, I was hoping for a bow ground pound. There's one right there for oh, Ethan going in with the he's chase. Done. Let's and go! That's it. That was huge. Ethan going down with him, but worth it. What that was so off. huge. I loved that. That ground pound immediately uh, chased Dodge into a dare and then just followed up so nicely with another dare for that KO. So, oh, so great. Yeah, that was, that's some really clean play coming out from Ethan on the bow. Yeah, I think he's answering back. He's saying, I can I can hold my own on the bow yeah. as well. He's showing us up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, were, we were saying how, yeah. how his sight's going to be, but so far the clip has been Ethan bow. Ooh, and oh. there's Cody with that side sig. Nice. Yeah, all right. Well, down to final stocks, and the damage is pretty negligible. I think, like, I mean, both these uh, uh, weapons have pretty good string potential, so Cody gets a read here. It's just even. Yeah, we'll oh, see if Cody's got the reads. Scythe is a good weapon for it. Almost catches him with that recovery. Ethan's being really good about not getting caught. Uh in a bunch of these scythe reads oh Ooh, the, the neutral nice slide charge sig. oh ethan's got ethan's got the momentum now though yeah full control needs one more hit potentially yeah Although Cody side air oh yeah, we'll touch. that was good that was really good from cody faded just under it but and there can't get away the from that pad. though nice job ethan get 2-0 yeah, and that means uh, nice. Ethan's going to move on. It's all best of threes until we get into the top four of things. So that's going to be uh, winner's final, loser's semifinal, loser's final, and grand final will all be best of fives. So that means Cody Travis is going down to the loser's bracket uh, pretty quick. Yeah, uh, honestly, I think for most people, a bit unexpected. I think more people uh, know the name Cody, but I mean, we mentioned it before. Like, he's really, you know, he's, he's not on the Barraza, though he does have a really good bow, right? But... Ethan just played really well. I mean, we saw that big pop off on the bow. Like yep. Ethan just played really, really well for that. And as you said, he's going down to lose bracket. This is a double elimination. So we'll still see uh, at the very least one other set with Cody Travis in it before uh, for the end of the tournament. Yeah, don't worry, chat. We're going to be stream. Or we're going to be streaming all the matches today yeah. because it's just a six man tournament. We got that uh, that room to do that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what's the uh, what's the next setup? Yeah, sir, bring us in. What's going on? What are we doing? All right, so I believe we have Java next. Yeah, who's and, he fighting? Uh, I am not sure about that. I think that's Pierre, right? Yeah, Pierre. Java, okay. Pierre. Yes. Ooh. Uh, this is a tough one. Uh, if you're going to ask my prediction, I was completely wrong. <laughs> um, okay. And, uh, and I'm rethinking my entire betting strategy. We'll see but here. I now you have the tech, right? You. you yeah. You know who you want to root for, and then you bet on the other person. See, mm -hmm. now, you, now you know exactly what to do. Okay, so if I want to say Java's going to win this, mm -hmm. then I go for Pierre? <laughs> yes, exactly. You got it. <laughs> I figured out you, how to You figured it out. You got it. Yeah. Okay. And we've I'm... got Pierre locked in on the uh, 
the moon in it as well. Yeah. So, so right. I know Pierre mostly, I think, for the Taros, right? Pierre's a, a mm-hmm. Taros. Mm-hmm. I think he's been so, playing Fate relatively recently. Um, right. So he does, I, I think he's going to lean a little bit more scythe like, similar to how Ethan was. Mm hmm. I. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, you know, I've seen Java really, really pop off. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing <clears throat> something from Java for this set for sure, because yeah. I think, I think he's got it in him. This will be a good I one either way. I'm, I'm gonna stick curious. with my okay. Java pick. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I got it right this time. Okay, okay, you're going with the Java. Okay. Uh, I'm curious about the stat line. I think Pierre went in Dex, and then Java went move speed. I don't think Dex gives everything. Like I was saying, like there's no like true combos that you get off of doing it. So I'm really interested in in what the logic is behind that for him. Maybe that's just the uh, the stance that he's unlocked, and you just go with that <laughs> yeah. because it's it's a new stance been out for a day. <laughs> this is my stance. This is what I'm going with. Yo, Java's popping okay. off though. Yeah, I mean, you say that, but damn it. Damage is even though. Yeah, I'm just saying if that second side stick hit would have been big. Oh yeah, it was over. It was over if that second side stick hit for sure. Oh, what's oh, Java doing? Okay. Okay. Oh, just barely able to make yeah, it back. But look at you that. saw the sweat drops. Ooh. Oh, but oh, finish nice. off with the side sig. Yeah, that side sig carries people off stage just that little bit, right? Since it's three shots. So uh, you can see that. Oh, well, nice. Okay. <laughs> Not immediately. Even <laughs> <And> the emoji. <laughs> or the emo. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny, uh, but yeah. So hitting uh, the side stick near the edge Ooh. should carry people off the edge. So good play. Yo, Pierre's got some really good spot dodges around Java's play though. It's been uh, affording him some good damage. He'll like spot dodge and then he'll do a wake up out of it and catch Java off, off guard. Yeah, be careful spot dodging against the site though. Pierre really sticking with that unarmed for a, a good bit there. Yeah, that was a, a decent chunk of time. Mm -hmm. And able to build successful damage with that as well. That's it's a still dodge. pretty close, but... Oh, I feel like Pierre's looking for a neutral air into GC neutral sig. I'd love to see it take them off the top here. Oh, man. Let's see what he can get. Throwing out some sigs. D-sig... He doesn't have the yeah. spacing just right. You saw that like first bounce. That's one right. that like if he goes far enough yeah. forward, it'll go over the corner. Yeah, because oh, you do you do that Ooh, jump back. So. Oh, man. That was so close. Yeah, great weapon toss by Java. Keeping him alive. Pierre also really smart throwing the weapon uh, to watching out for that neutral sig to, so he could actually get back. How are neither of them KO'd yet? There. Because <laughs> yeah. he's using Scythe Nair. That's not a yeah, KO move. Scythe <laughs> Nair is my like KO'd at the end there. My goodness, man. Java really living, but now Pierre's got to keep living. <laughs> Wait, one more? No, okay. <laughs> yeah, you got to you got to get the whole thing. Three, three, there four. There it right? was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Pierre, let's go. No. Couldn't continue. Java said it. no. We're staying. <laughs> oh snap! Pierre. Oh, we went for the read. Oh Ooh, wow! Okay. And that down ja unable yeah, to connect. It Java slid it just a little bit, trying to catch Pierre at the bottom, because it does spike a little bit. That bow uh, D6 spikes if you hit the bottom of it. That would have been that would have been the KO, surely. But there it two is. stock. Ooh. Nice job, Pierre. You that last stock, Pierre really came into his own. That was really well played at the end there. Sirs, how are you feeling about your predictions? I, I heard you, I think, at the I... start of this say you're going with Java. Is that right? Was that Java? You said I, I, think you, I was, you I was final answered Java, and uh, I once again. Uh, I have I mean, been. It's just incorrect. game one, you know. <laughs> it's just game one. You got to stick with your boy, you know. But you, you, you know, gotta... to 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 give it to Pierre, he took that game with two stocks. Um, yeah, that was good. There was there was a healthy lead he maintained and kept throughout. I, I liked some of the stuff Java was doing. Like he had some really good ideas mm -hmm. at the start of it, but Pierre just really started gaining a lot of momentum. Um, yeah. We'll see how well Java can adjust in this one. As uh, we're not going back to small Brawl Haven, so at least it'll uh, live a little bit longer. Yeah, Brawl Haven's a bit of a tough one if you're trying to extend a stock. That's for sure. Man, I love this map. I'm such a fan of this map. It looks cool. The music's great, and also the layout is. I mean, I love it. I'm an axe guy, and uh, you can get some some pretty good stuff with the <laughs> ledge cancel D light. But you know. Ooh. Ooh, that was a little was late on that. Will he yeah. be punished for it? 
Okay, Java, finish it out. Here's a good. Yeah. Java's okay, just taking touch. that opportunity to build the damage. But Pierre went had to go really high to get around that. If he had like one less option, I think Java could have extended that even longer. Oh, I really like that actually. That D Sig pops him up and he's able to get that Sair fast enough. This is some really good corner coverage. They're both trying to get these side six. Nice. Oh, nice! Ooh, the neutral connects. He pivoted it too. That was great. I don't think you need to pivot it. Like it's got enough active frames to catch that spot dodge. It only catches like three out of the nine potential dodge angles, but uh, still really good plays from Pierre. Didn't KO though. They're both pretty deep. Pierre, I think only barely more damaged. Oh, there it is. That's gotta yeah. be the stock. Yep. Nice job. D-Light recovery to finish it. Java getting the first stock. Okay, Bovi Bow. Oh! Ooh, the yeah. weapon throw fake. That was, that was and clean. And there it is. That was clean. I, I, yeah, that was nice. That that messed me up. Yeah. That broke mm -hmm. my ankles. Yep. I'll never not get confused by that. <laughs> <laughs> Every <laughs> single time, 100% of the time. It's the pump fake. Makes you think a little bit. I still remember the first time we ever saw that in tournament, and everyone just went wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Java, again? Oh, okay. Okay, he was, like, faking the ground pound there. You see those, like, two... Like short hops in the oh. air. Oh. That's got nice, nice. Java just I think... continually punishing him off stage, just not he's, giving he's him a break. Winning that off stage engagement. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's something that Duke actually mentioned before. That GC side sig on the bow, such high quality game potential. Right. And, I mean, so we much... saw it there. It was like deep yellow. There's just so much covering coverage coming out of that side signature. Yeah. Plus the spike. Okay, I like that chasing of the recovery. But he's still trading out. He's in trouble. <laughs> trading they're neutral just, SIGs there. They're just throwing SIGs until one of them hits at this point. He's throwing every SIG he can. Playing the whole song. <laughs> I mean, Beard knows he needs his stock now because soon the lead's going to be near insurmountable. Especially if he gets KO'd here, it'll be even more insurmountable. Okay. Oh, Ooh, there it is, the what side a play! <clears throat> the just like low off the ground GC side sig from Java for the KO. What a play, D. That's such a good idea, right? Because he he went for the D sig, which goes uh, a little too low. But with that weapon in hand, like he was he wasn't gonna hit anything with the uh, mm -hmm. the downlight either. Like the the gravity cancel side sig goes over a lot of the things Pierre wanted <clears throat> to do. So that was actually yeah. really smart. So how you feel about your point out, sir? That was really well played. I do, I like it. I like it. And we're right back into it. Game three. <laughs> yeah. You'll love to see it. you love to see it, man. Oh, no options for Pierce. It's going to be no. big. Yeah, Java capitalized pretty well. Java going to extend hard it on that weapon starve now. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Look at that. Yeah. He wants this game Oh, three. we didn't pick it back up. <clears throat> oh, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Odin is uh, favoring Java this game. Just uh, a little that bit. One. Pierre is struggling. He has not touched mm. Java. Oh, right. here it is. Okay. Oh, unarmed Gimp? All right, he no, off. No. What? Pierre, you could have finally had a weapon. <laughs> he says, nope, unarmed no. it is for me. Bird hands only. No. He's not getting Java, his follow-ups. Java's really using that side sig for pressure on and off stage. Wow. And there that it was, is. That was such a solid stock for Java. Just like the weapon starve, plus just like getting so many uh, movement punishes, like just well played from Java. Oh man, Pierre's really starting to struggle. Doesn't get the follow up. Down oh, sig. Nice. Caught Pierre as he was trying to peek up through the soft right. platform there. Interesting yeah, option. Uh, really using that splash damage to full effect. Nice. Ooh, Good okay. read. Still not quite enough. Going for yeah. again. Pierre's got to get a bit more than just a few stray hits here and there if he wants to bring this back. Oh, just going for the ground pound. Punish it. Oh. Punish it. What was that there throw? There you go. Come on. Oh, oh, just barely able to touch back. Oh, man. That was... Java's got to be feeling a little, <laughs> a little scared after that one. but. Nice. There it is. The GCD sig off stage. Really well That's done. Aims like it at see. the wall, too, because Java has to come up it. Yeah, you can see Java was sliding up from just the momentum of getting touching the wall. Popped him into it. Good damage from Pierre here. 
Now Java's the there. one getting just stray hits. Pierre's getting quite a quite a few confirms now. Yeah, this is a great opportunity for for him to even it up. Um, you know, a couple good strings and he'll be right back into it. Oh yeah. Oh, oh good this is movement. I love the chase dodge through turn around side like if that three piece Ensig doesn't hit. Yo, right, so that's really smart. Okay, back to neutral. But I mean, damage is like Pierre has evened it up in this in this uh, second stock. Oh, but you're <laughs> oh, not gonna get that, away there with it that. Is. I'm so man, we see it again. The hitting the two the two shots on stage and the final shot hitting off stage for that big spike. It's, oh, it's so nice. You know that that Ensig on bow is real interesting, um, especially because a lot of people. You know, there, there's it's it's just different enough from the Koji and Sig that people aren't used to it just yet in, yeah. in terms of range and coverage. Nice, Ooh. nice. Yeah, you're right because it's uh, a bit slower, a bit bigger. You know, right. It's got some different use cases for sure. And there's a couple there's a couple of those that would have connected if it had oh. been Koji's and Sig. Yeah, they're definitely playing it like <clears throat> it's a Koji and Sig, but uh, right, yeah. gotta respect it as its own move. Okay. Pierre? How we, what are we thinking, Pierre? Ooh, oh! Went for that twice. Doesn't connect. That might have spiked, too, just low enough off the stage. You see, Java has been slowed down a little bit, which definitely is what Pierre needed. Java was just controlling the pace of everything for all of that first stock. Second ha uh, first half of the second stock, and Pierre just slowed everything down. Now it's at his pace. Yeah. Here, get a wall touch, my guy. There. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> oh yeah, here like we go. He's got the stage control, backs up, weapon. Ooh, a little early okay. on that side sig. Yeah. Yeah, Pierre's really been putting the pressure on in this stock. Just gotta hand not it to giving Pierre for Java room to breathe. Yeah. Are we going to see another Let's GC move. side sig? No, dare. Okay. I really want the GC side oh, sig. Oh! Whew. That was so cool. Yeah, so low off the stage, yet still almost KO'd off the top. Oh, there it is. Wow. He, he did what Java did to him. Whew. What a reaction, though. He, right he did back it at you. He did it as wow. a reaction instead of a read. Really cool, though. That was great. Yeah, spot dodged like the bottom side of that of that D sig and turned it into a KO. Well played from Pierre. Like we said, he was playing from behind like the whole game and brought it back and. Uh, I mean, right here at the end. That was so great. Oh, man. That was Pierre. a fun one. Yo, yeah, Pierre. that was great. Yeah. Did Closes not see some of those coming. I mean, those, especially that last shot, the uh, the signature usage, amazing. I mean, yeah. reads. And also, because dodges. Moon and so new, people aren't quite used to her signatures yet. So you see, like, maybe they're getting a few more SIG hits than you would expect. Right? Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll be seeing that by the end of the tournament. I mean, it's only like, you know, round one. They've had a day with her. But uh, still, I can't discredit some of those really nice play signatures. Yeah, it's worth mentioning Ethan likely got his first level in uh, Moonin playing just now. Like, he's only level oh, two yeah, right now. <laughs> <laughs> some of them don't have playtime on these legends, uh, or on Moonin and Hugin. So, uh, it's, it's cool. It's cool to see them, like, picking it up and then what are the ideas that they immediately jump to yeah i mean speaking of really great next match ethan versus phase on gonna be the first match we see uh phase on in and you say ethan's got a level two phase has got a level nine moon in so just Ooh. play time wise favoring phase on a little bit here little but bit. only only barely only barely you know <laughs> Right. I was going to say my pick is Phazon for this one, but the way oh, you yeah? said it <laughs> is making me doubt it already. <laughs> I was about to say, seriously, you're 0-2 on predictions so far. I got to wow. gotta know what you're going with this time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think of this time, Sirius? I want to know. Is, is this the reverse caster's curse? Have I? What, what have I done here? <laughs> uh, I think this is exactly a caster's curse. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> All right. I'm going in with Phazon. I'm locking okay. him in. He's got okay. a little more playtime on Moonin, and so I'm just gonna I'm gonna say he's he's got some some follow ups down. I will say the the Ethan, numbers favor the you. Yeah, the numbers favor you, but I don't know. We saw Ethan play, and we were hyping up his his scythe, or at least I was uh, in his first set. But his bow, like I said, like the clip so far has been Ethan's bow. So I got high hopes for Ethan in this match. 
Well, phasing off, phase on starting off very strong, of course. <laughs> that classic scythe. We're seeing that hit a lot Ooh. today is the uh, Nair Sayers. Oh, oh wow. just getting out of that down suit. Just barely. I'm yeah, surprised. you see like that that stacked hitbox is there. Is it there for very long? So Phazon managed to sneak right in there. He found the uh, the eye of the storm to Not, become. Uh, yeah. And... Yeah. <laughs> so he, did. he found the rest in the music is what he did. <laughs> Well, the whole note rest. D Sig not gonna go over the corner though. Nice pickup. Oh, Ethan. Yeah. Finish it. Oh, we got the wall touch. No. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can see Ethan really wanted something there, but Fa uh, but Phazon knew. But I think that's the stock there. Nice. Yep. Okay. <laughs> stock to Ethan. So, so he's because he's like my predictions. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately sweating uh, after first like, stock. Oh, I was one. hoping you didn't hear that little laugh. <laughs> Oh man! I mean, still, I mean, you know, phase I can bring this back pretty quickly with a, a signature, um, maybe a, a decent read off stage. <laughs> okay, you might have, you might have heard me. He's doing a lot of things trying to get this, but Ethan's dancing around the scythe plays like really well. He's getting he's so seen, much damage. Oh yeah, you can see right here. You you may see it again here. He does like a backdash D light or a backdash side light. Oh, Ooh, finally catching him with that neutral sig. <laughs> oh man, two stock lead for Ethan. Phazon's got to get the stock right here. He's got a good weapon for it. But oh, oh my goodness, Ethan! With the, Ethan with the fake out. Continue. Yes, it. is this it? Oh, he dodged the. Oh, it's not oh, enough. A three stock. It. Three stock. Let's go. Oh wow. Let's go, Ethan. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Phazon. <laughs> Phazon. <laughs> I know. What what a good ending emote too with the the in <laughs> in the boat. Wow, three stocks. So, okay, Ethan again, popping off so far in this tournament. All right, Cersei, so you got to coach your boy. What does Faison need to do better? Yeah. Whew. Okay, that's going to be a tough one because I was watching Ethan a lot on that. <laughs> um, and, you know, it's it's interesting because I feel like both players and in general what we've seen today, um, there is a lot of signature usage. And I think that's just, uh, you know, players getting comfortable with the new legend. Uh, the new follow-ups and stuff like that, and they're just having fun with it, too. Um, now, where that is for advice for Faison, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't really have any. <laughs> it sounds like you're like, Faison, get hit less. Like, that's that's the advice. Just get Play hit less, better. my guy. Yeah. <laughs> Play better, hit him more, get hit less. That's the key to victory. Got him with the, uh, the get good. Ethan, though, uh, clearly not familiar <laughs> with that side stick. Didn't have the punish Ooh. ready for that one. You stay in the air off of it. Yeah, more of what Cirrus was saying, right? Like, people are still getting used to the, the signatures on this legend. But Faison has the early lead. Let's see if he can turn this into something here. Oh, I like the or if Ethan gets one. another read. Ethan's got a lot of control right now, though, and that's bad for Faison. Ooh. I will say, I think the map favors Ethan because... Oh, nice, nice yep. though, ground pound. There it is. Uh, yeah, the map favors Ethan just because he is the DJ skin on Miami <laughs> Dome. Everyone hears the music like, this is home field advantage. Woo! Nice. Ethan saying nice. nope, right back in. Yeah, right back at you, Faison. Love the sh movement on that. End light, mm. jump, fastball, turn around, end light, leading yeah. the KO. Ethan's been really good about these little short hops uh, into, I think usually Nair is what he follows it up with, or, uh, or a neutral stick depending on damage. Out back out the to even. Not able to get the dodge on that one, though. And just like that, Faison has built a slight lead. Super slight, yeah. Okay. I was expecting more D-Sig stage from Ethan there, but he just goes for the ground pound, switching up a little bit. You know, Ethan, you hit the neutral light, neutral stick once, I don't think Faison's gonna let it happen again. <laughs> it's it's a mental check, though. It's like, are you paying attention? Yeah. Are you, are you yeah. remembering that I'm still playing this character? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this. Are you ready for it this time? Nice, side sig nice. from Ethan. Nice, yeah. It's like the, uh, the Orion neutral sig follow-up on Lance, right? Like, are you yeah, watching close check enough? It. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Faison, is he gonna clap back like Ethan did? Yep. Nice, right okay. there. Okay. It's Big D-sig. Negligible damage at this point. Completely even, essentially. Oh. oh. Oh, now Faison's turned it around. Okay, Ethan gets around the He's weapon good. toss. That would have been certain demise right there. That was definitely going to be a KO.
Smart usage of the stage. He dipped underneath it to avoid any yeah. like major threats to. Oh, what a pickup! Nice. I can't. Oh! <laughs> and there it is. Nice. <laughs> He's insane. Are you watching closely. Ethan Scythe wow. is actually insane. He's going to 2-0 phase on, keeping Cirrus at 0-3, 0% prediction <laughs> rate. <laughs> I, I got to really hand it to Ethan. I, you know, I think, again, the favor was in phase, for phase on here from, I think, like everyone in chat, uh, the seating, again, the levels. But Ethan playing big right now. Yeah. Just play after play, Ethan has just been ahead. Yeah, yeah we only really Faison. saw, um, we only really saw Faison take take dominance. I think in that second stock of the last in the first game, uh, and you know he was really putting the pressure on him with his bow, not really giving Ethan a chance to to kind of start any strings there. But mm -hmm. we didn't see any of that in the third stock or in the second game, and I think that's where Ethan kind of just went wild with it. And yet, like maybe if you know there was another few games, maybe Faison could have caught on. But like after a three stock and then having it close in game two. Ethan just had him. Yeah, really, really well played from Ethan. Uh, that means he's going to continue on. He's he's already in the winner's final. Again, we got a six man tournament here, so it's going to be quick. And uh, we're going to find out who Ethan's going to be fighting against, because up next is Sandstorm versus Pierre. Now. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sarah's, uh, I'm going to let you have this one. Who is your prediction? For I winning. mean, this this is this is like a, this is this is a this is a free one, right? For me, like, is it? <laughs> is it? Is it? Is okay, it? I'm gonna is go for though? Sandstorm. I'm gonna go okay. for Sandstorm. Okay. And uh, I mean, the Scythe Master, the Scythe Legend, the Scythe yeah. Goat, in my I opinion. Mean, you, you can't have a Scythe <clears throat> exhibition without having Sandstorm in there somewhere. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Basically, I'm gonna go for Sandstorm, and yeah. uh, I really hope that uh, <laughs> I don't go 4-0 now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, Pierre, uh, the, the set we saw him in, right, like, had some really solid plays, right? Like, I'm expecting back. big things from Pierre. Um, I don't think this is going to be an easy one. For but, sure. But, you know, Pierre's, I mean, Pierre's fighting the world champion. He's got to really, he's got to really go for it. And I think he's got it. I, I think he can get this. I really do. I would love to see a Pierre Ethan uh, winner's finals. That would definitely be awesome. something. Uh, my my big really concern like is uh, is if we go into the off stage because that's where Pierre was struggling against Java. Yeah, yeah. Sandstorm's gonna want to take Pierre off stage. Yeah. Sandstorm excels right. at off stage plays. But what were you saying, Cyrus? Oh, I was just saying I really like Sandstorm's drip. The community colors on the Hugen. Yeah, it looks real nice. It's a good look. That skin is just top tier. I mean, all of them are top tier, honestly. I mean, yeah. I, everyone knows I'm a I'm a DJ Duck boy, but. Uh, you really can't go wrong. Ooh, that was close. Oh, that was also Ooh. close, man. Pierre Whoa. almost stole a stock quick. Yeah, that would have been like <laughs> light yellow KO. Nice three piece. Goes for it again. Sandstorm. He's dodging into those and getting away with that. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Like if Pierre holds it for just like a split second, that will hit that dodge. I think now Sandstorm's kind uh -oh. of fake peer out uh -oh. on those neutrals. Like, ah, it just KO'd. I mean, it's Brawlhaven. Oh, yeah, you, can't, yeah you, you just can't extend stocks on Brawlhaven. Sandstorm looking pretty comfortable with these signatures. It looks like he's using that neutral just to kind of bait it out, kind of create some space. Mm -hmm. But he, he really knows what he's doing with that down. Just the right spacing as well. Oh, nice, Reef. That was good. Just that slight move forward to catch the dodge didn't go immediately into the neutral sig. That was yeah, nice. That. Still needs to finish this stock off. That end sig, I'm, I'm surprised by how little it is KOing because people are hitting it, but it is not yeah. knocking out. There it is. Okay. Got him with stock. the side. With the side bell. I love that sig. I'm. Oof. Oh, Piers gonna stick with the with the scythe. Okay. Get the KO with the bow. Oh, uh, Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Quick answer from Sandstorm. Quick. Yeah. And he throws away the scythe in favor of bow. Interesting. Oh, never oh. mind. Yeah. yeah he's I don't think he's got a plan. He's kind of just throwing weapons. Yeah, he's just going for it. Oh, Pierre, be careful here. He got lucky on that one. Sandstorm was reading the dodge down, and Pierre went yeah. a little bit high, got away, but he's out of movement. And yeah, yep. this out of movement against Sandstorm oh. off stage. Ooh, oh, unable to Gets catch around him. it. Nice job, Pierre. Okay, slide charge neutral. Sandstorm's not getting hit by any of those neutrals. 
Ooh, that was close. Almost spiked off stage. Yeah, just out of range of that third one that went mm -hmm. off stage. Sandstorm's staying grounded, really. No Trying to just like get something moving. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He, was, he, was, he just kind of pointed this guy like, hey, look over there. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> the fake out, the dodgeball attack. Yeah. Man. I mean, what a game for Sandstorm. Right. There was, there was mo like moments of greatness from Pierre, but Sandstorm just had more of those moments. Yeah, he, he definitely had uh, more damage per engagement if we had that Whoa. stat up, but uh, he's, he's getting those KOs quick too. Like he was hitting mm -hmm. the, uh, the harder hitting six for sure. They're back to Brawlhaven. I think this is the wrong choice for Pierre. You know, he really needed somewhere that he could extend stocks and try to keep himself from getting getting KO'd so early against Sandstorm. To give him credit, Pierre did do really well off stage. He did not let Sandstorm take it and run. Yeah. Um, you know, he managed to hold his own. He did take some damage off stage, but you know, not as much as we'd expect to see. Yeah, with none of those patented Sandstorm strings. You know. Right. Yeah, Pierce definitely holding his own in this one. Watch out for oh, the weapon. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sandstorm's going out. for it. Pierre with the lead, though. Pierre looking to take this first stock unarmed nice. as well. Yeah, that was really nice. Jumped over it for the punch. Oh, Ooh. and the D Sig. Pierre gonna take the first stock. Nice one there, Pierre. Yeah, keeping it. Real even Sandstorm needs like one hit here, I think, really, but I'll appear's not gonna yo, let him get yo. it. Ooh. Yo! Keeping him on this corner. Sandstorm's gonna get past, but Pierre can deny the weapon. Yeah, really good Pierre, coverage from Pierre. Go. Keeping the pressure on Sandstorm and just not letting him do anything just yet. Oh wow. Read the jump, Pierre said nope. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people will uh, panic jump in that situation. Pierre, looking great right now. A whole wow. stock ahead, Pierre says, I want to take this to game three, and I agree. He's Almost? close to doing it. What's the move? D6. Oh. oh. Wow. Oof. I was holding my breath. These raw D6s are, are they're catching a <clears throat> lot of players. Like, they're just yeah. making themselves punishable. Okay, now let's see if Pierre can finish this up real quick to keep this one stock lead. Nice. 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 Yeah, so that N6 is really good because you can follow it up off of like basically any of the normal like setup moves. You stop side yeah. light, your end light, even your dare can set up in that basically the same read. And, I mean, we're seeing it too, right? Like people have hit oh, a no. bunch of those. Oh, Sandstorm is no longer playing around. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> He's like, hang on. <laughs> Wait a second, I'm down a stack? <clears throat> oh, that was close. Okay, Pierre gives him space. Still going in though. Nice. Okay. Ooh, oh, is this gonna be it? That side. Still has movement. D6 okay, thrown out, yeah. Sandstorm with a punish. That was a good punish from Sandstorm. Pierre would, I think I had the right idea, but Sandstorm, I think he saw it coming. Yeah, Sandstorm just knew that everybody who's going to be playing Moon in is going to be looking for Wants that. It. You're going to want it. Yeah. Sandstorm not going to fall those? for that down sig. Yeah. He's got a little bit of work to do, but he's very well into this. Building up that right. damage slowly. There we go, Pierre. He's got to be careful Watch. with these raw sigs. He's getting punished pretty good every time. Oh, except that one time after I say it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can you can understand why he's got sandstorm and kill percent. Nice, nice. the sidelights. Nice. Do it. Okay. Bring it to game three. What a, you know, it was it was looking like sandstorm was gonna bring it back there on second stock, right? Yeah. But Pierre, Pierre kept kept level headed and came out on top to bring it to game three. Sirs, so how you feeling? Oh, I'm going to be honest, <laughs> after that last match, I'm like, P Pierre is making it his mission to make me own four. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, I love to see it, but I also want to get one right. <laughs> Let's see. Back to Brawlhaven again. They're just going all, all Brawlhavens. Well, it is. It's in the sky. They're playing birds. There's some logic. You're right. Yeah, it makes sense. You're totally it, it, right. It's, it's very poetic. <laughs> 
Ooh, that DC is actually going to catch Pierre on the dodge. D like no? turnaround, Ooh. Sarah. Pierre taking him off stage. Oh, coming back. It, yeah. it went a little too high to start that ground pound. It's not a very fast ground pound, but it is super powerful. But Sansa turns it, turns it back around, gets the stock. Yep. Putting it in nice and tidy right there, just sending him off stage. Ooh. Awkward ground pound there. Sandstorm yeah. got a little bit of a punish on it. He might have been going for a, a, a GCD sig. You've seen a lot of those um, in this, I mean, this whole exhibition. Ooh. All right, what's the plan here, Pierre? He needs to, he needs to hit Sandstorm. That should be on part, <laughs> step one of the plan. Yeah, step one, hit Sandstorm. <laughs> step two, get the KO. Okay. Ooh. Easy. Pierre escaping hit Sandstorm's D Sig and then answering back with his own. Nice. nice. And the side just like. Was that a, G, a really like <clears throat> low GC too? Yeah. Like, did he? I, yep. That was nice. That was really well played. Definitely worked out. Pierre kind of like forgot that Sig mo oh, existed, right? Like, we see Ethan throw it out a lot and we have not yeah. seen Pierre use it. That might have been the first time he's used it this set. Alright, Pierre really really needs a good scythe read here to bring this back because he's pretty deep red and sandstorm's been getting oh wow okay okay i jumped over it oh Ooh, the uppercut okay. send him up smart from sandstorm pier was using a lot of movement to get to that position and sandstorm's mm -hmm. like all right i'll just follow it uh oh <laughs> the pattern oh, sandstorm oh, oh. turn it around here oh. turn it around oh, he's still alive get it back though I Makes can't believe back. how, like, I He's know you're alive. a bird sandstorm, but did you have to take him that high? Yeah. That, was, that was disrespectful. I mean, again, <laughs> birds in the sky, like, they flew very high, but... Yeah, they went for it. <laughs> sandstorm looking to fix oh, those uh, battle pass God. missions to KO a partner off screen. Yeah. <clears throat> Gotta get him off the top of the map. Sandstorm. Make it ambiguous. Man, sandstorm is... Saying like, no, okay. last game was a fluke. Ooh, that was a good D sig. There, I really <laughs> like that. The GC that sidelight chase dodge into the D sig. That was really cool. Yeah. Hi, Pierre. Is this gonna be a a point? There it Ooh. is. Sandstorm taking it. Surus with a victory too. Yeah. yeah more importantly, good. Surus is really on the board. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, you Sandstorm makes it to Winners Finals. Heck yeah, but Surus, let's go. <laughs> Surus, how do you I mean, feel? I, Tell us uh, you about feel? your victory. Yeah. Go. I just want to I want to throw some some emotes out and just <laughs> just relish in this one. Um, but yeah, that was a great match. I mean, we saw some great plays from both players. Um, mm -hmm. Pierre really again, um, you know, holding his own against Sandstorm, uh, which is which is one of the toughest things to do with Sandstorm and Scythe. Um, you know. Didn't really, didn't really get any of those big long sandstorm strings until, I believe, the third stock of the yeah, last like game was second right stock. Right at the end. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we, you know, good plays all around. Love to see it. Yeah, I mean, you're right. It's it's <clears throat> it's hard to say. I mean, really, anybody except for like a few slick people have held their own against sandstorm. And mm -hmm. Pierre took a whole game off of sandstorm there. So shout out to Pierre. That was fantastic. Yeah, he played really well. Um, mm -hmm. But unfortunately, he is down in the loser side. Uh, so now I think that's where we're going. We've got Faison and Java nice. and Pierre and Cody Travis. Ooh, I'm Faison versus Java is going to be an exciting match. I, you know, Java had a lot of really, really great plays, and I'm excited to see more of those. But maybe come out on top, you know. And same with Faison. You know, he kind of got uh, outclassed by Ethan. I want. I really want to see him. Take take a bit of take a bit of something. I'd love to see some plays with Faison too. I'm straddling the line. <laughs> I'm going it's Java always on tough. this one. You going with just, Java? I'm just locking it in. I'm just okay. going in Java. So that Faison. was just a gut call. That one that you shot from the nice. hips. That one. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. I'm not Faison's even a partner creator though. Yeah. I gotta go with Faison. He is a partner creator. I gotta Ooh, stick the with the title drip. Creators. Yep. Yeah. I gotta. So I think mm. I think Faison's got this. I'm putting all all the all the eggs into that basket. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, man. DJ, it, we, we got Java on the DJ duck. I think that that gives him just that slight edge. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's it's hard to disagree with a DJ duck pick. 
All right, we're still in the uh, best of threes section. We're in the loser side. Uh, whoever loses this is going to go 0-2 for our, our little exhibition. It would be unfortunate. Yeah, especially with how well they've been playing. You know, I kind of just want to see them fight everybody at this point. Ooh. Good punish. Yeah. Faison was just going for that raw neutral sig, and Java was <laughs> throwing out a bunch of sigs of his own, but it worked. At first, I was like, okay, he's respecting the sig. He's no, he doesn't know it that well. It's only been out yeah. for a day. And then he just, like, still stood there. <laughs> See a few people are predicting um, Java wins solely for the skin, and I gotta respect that decision. And what is that? The that's V2 Esports on him, right? Oh uh, well, no, that's also the the current He's, Battle Pass yeah, colors. Oh, he exalted. So it's Battle Pass colors plus DJ Hugan. Yeah, man, it's a good look, Java. Yo, but is, a nice start. Some on. Second stocks. Yeah, this has been really even. Phazon's Phazon's uh, fine and stuff now, though. Yeah. Took him a stock, ooh, and now he's ooh. like, okay, I got this. Signature interrupted, otherwise that would have been a big ooh, hit. Nice ooh. round, though. That, yeah, he fast fell to get past that that down air, and then the quick turnaround side air for the KO. That was really nice from Faison. I was definitely thrown off, though, like like Cyrus was saying, though. Like, that side light beating out the side signature from Faison, yeah. I guess there's a little bit of startup. Ooh. You could, you could hear Faison is just stopping these signatures from happening. Nice. Oh. Ooh, taking him How's off stage. Did? Okay. Did we touch? Oh, he wanted it. Okay. Java oh. now? Weapon toss, yep. That's that it. should guarantee it, Ooh. and we're going to final stocks. Java still, throwing that, was... that Uno reverse card on him. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, he got the reverse, but it was still so much damage from Phazon, right? And this is Java's last stock. So, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How unfortunate. The, the weapon self toss. combo. Yeah. <laughs> Interrupting the neutral light of Phazon just so Phazon could get a neutral air <laughs> immediately after. Okay, it's looking really trouble. nice for Phazon. Yo. Ooh, just not good. enough to send him. Okay. One more hit. Yeah, is it this time? Another another nope. down air? Okay, no, down sig. I was so yeah. close to saying that's gotta be it. <laughs> I'm glad yeah, I did right? that. <clears throat> You know, you, I, I gotta put out a lot of people still are, uh, are, are getting the D6 spike here. I wonder if it's on purpose. You see, Phazon actually backed up. You gotta be relatively close to the corner of the stage, but I mean, it doesn't matter. Gets the yep. KO. Yeah. Really well done from Phazon. Uh, really mm -hmm. like popped off on the second stock. Like Jabba For kept sure. it close, and then that second stock Phazon ran off. I wonder if we're going to go back to Brawlhaven. It's been nothing but Brawlhaven lately. Yep. Yeah. Once again, Brawlhaven. Once again, the Brawlhaven. I think you're right. Everyone's just going to, to <laughs> home. They're going home. They're going to where they have as much sky as possible. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's see. Because Java, Java started off really strong on the first stock. Let's see if he could get another solid start, but keep the momentum this time. Oh, Faison wanted something there for sure. You saw that that classic side chase dodge uh, yeah. up inside. He was waiting for the dodge from Java. Java didn't give it to him, which is why he didn't go for a follow up there. Yeah. Okay. Still super even right here at the beginning. Faison with a little bit of a lead, but I mean, with Scythe. Uh -oh. Oh. Uh oh. Still dodged. Okay. Oh. The fake you out. Saw you saw the, the, the sweat drops came out there for a second when Java was still under the stage. Good turnaround. Oh, that's the stars. Phase on. Still touches. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, oh, there it is. Whoa, DI'd? A, did you see that? That was a true combo. You yeah. got the DI off of it. It still led to the KO, but wow. Smart DI from Java and, I mean, great KO from Phase on though. Yep. Just wasn't able to make it back. Immediate KO here. Oh, okay. I mean, it is the DJ. Gotta go for the break dance. <laughs> oh, again, he's getting caught though. <clears throat> nice. Oh, Java really wants his KO. Throwing out that neutral sig, thinking that Phazon was gonna. Oh, jump into it. Phazon, a neutral sig of his own. No KOs left. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, nice. no. Ooh, the side sig of the follow up. What a follow up, right? Like. 
That was so nice. <clears throat> I've got to say, both Ooh. players look pretty even off stage right now. Um, and it seems like they're repeatedly going off stage. Okay. I wonder if they're yeah. just more comfortable there with Scythe or, you know, yeah. trying to fish for those gravity cancel side sigs. It might just be, I think you're right, it might just be the nature of Scythe. You know, they're just carrying each other off stage. And since they're both playing the Scythe, they're both going <laughs> towards that side, right? Right. I mean, it's definitely in uh, Java's playbook. Like, most for of the sure. games we've seen him on, on stream, he's just been going for the offstage stuff, and it's been working out for the most part. Mm -hmm. I was really hoping, honestly, that Faison would get the three stock there just to come back from that three stock. To <laughs> set before! Whoa. Nice! GC side sig. And that's a 2-0. Just like that, Java is knocked out of our exhibition. He played very well, but uh, yeah. unfortunately, that's it for him. I'm down that bad, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get all of them. One in five? Is that what we're yeah. at? <laughs> and, and my one was Sandstorm, so. Or sorry, one in four, technically. Five, yeah. five sets played, one in four. That was a really <laughs> nice uh, side sync from Phazon. I think he got almost two side sig KOs because he did get that bow side sig into the the down air which was beautiful follow-up mm -hmm. but then yeah. that side sig right at the end again to spike off the stage i think he like i don't think java was even that damaged i think he was like a deep orange maybe but like that spike three hits from the sig hard to come back from that as you yeah. see impossible in the case of java there yeah the uh the i think the side sig is like the MVP sig for a lot of these games. It's like, that's yeah. the thing that's doing a lot of the work. Um, and it, it definitely was was showing. Java struggled a little bit towards the tail end yeah. there. Like, he's, he's really burning a lot of movement and not really getting any hits out. Yeah. yeah. I You know, I was... I think everyone was kind of expecting it to be another really close game after game one, but Faison just, like, really pulled it all out. Like, that was really well played overall from, from Faison. All right, Sirius, how are you feeling now? Yeah, what's the uh, next set? How are you feeling, Cyrus? Ooh, okay, so up next we've got Pierre and Cody Travis. Uh, I'm going to go with Pierre on this one. Okay. Uh, Again. So congratulations, Cody Travis. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but no, so uh, what I've noticed is uh, we're, we're seeing a lot more, a lot less signature usage as the games progress. Yeah. Uh, and, and I've started to see a lot more for a scythe, the scythe neutral and the scythe down, just kind of be, being used as spacing. Just like, hey, yeah. you know, don't come too close to me. Stay away. Uh, and it's been fairly successful, uh, but we don't see them catch in strings as much. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And that actually, you brought up something like we're seeing less SIGs. That's something we talked about before. It's like we're seeing a lot of SIGs in this first set, maybe later on as people get Three, used, more two, used to the character one, playing against four. these top players that we're going to see just less overall. And yeah. And now Pierre vs. Cody. Back to Brawlhaven again. It's the uh, the unofficial rule with the uh, Moon and Hugen exhibition is that we got to play yeah. on the uh, the sky map. Yeah, and like I mean, they realized that there was a bit of a, a you know the DJ DJ Hugen advantage on Miami, so I don't think we're gonna see that one again. Oh, here? Can he He's make good. it back? He touched. Okay, Cody oh, makes it back. Oh wow! Man. Good punish from Pierre though. Nice punish. This really has been a battle of get a hit, go for follow-up, get punished. Back and yeah. forth it's been. It really is like one hit into getting punished. There wow. are a lot of SIGs in this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Pierre just snuck <clears throat> under that side SIG. And then just really leaning into that down SIG for spacing uh -huh. and edge guarding as well. What's Cody thinking here? I totally thought someone was going to GC down SIG. I was for waiting sure. for it. I was waiting for it, man. <laughs> think oh yeah yeah just enough yeah, just enough was, to not come back yeah if if only pierre could like just raise raise <laughs> moonen's hand up to like slap the wall they're so <laughs> close i believe it's a wing yeah. yes you're right you're right <laughs> flap the wings a little bit maybe you'll get a bit more <laughs> a bit more air no fun fact she did get custom hands so they oh, are yeah. legitimately wings for her yeah, no one else will have have bird hands Okay, back to just fully even. It got brought back really quick. 
Ooh, yeah. catching him with that down sig right off yeah. the edge. It wasn't the spike though, you saw it bounced off the corner. Mm -hmm. Oh, Piers, that's it? No. Okay. Cody touched the wall, but Was Piers out of okay. options. Yeah, just in case, it's always nice to do that weapon toss, but good recognition from Cody to, uh, yeah. to know Pier burned a lot of movement in there. Nice. I think you were saying before, uh, Duke, that Pierre hasn't been using the bow side sig as much. We've been seeing a lot more D sig. Uh, and we were also saying sure. that the side sig's coming Ooh. to MVP. Okay, that's it. But yeah, I'm looking for more. I think I'm, I'm just looking for more bow side sig, I think, in general from, from Pierre. Yeah, you're right. I'm, he's definitely leaning into the neutrals and the downs a little more. Mm -hmm. I really want Cody's end sig to hit. He's gone for like. <laughs> A million of them, and just so like many. I want that a million and 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 first one to finally hit and KO. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh, the GC dancing though. He covered the weapon. I th he knew that Pierre wanted the weapon, and that's a that's a clean stock for Cody, and a game one win. The JV two going in favor nice. of Cody Travis. <laughs> Yeah, that, that GC D-Sig from Cody was so smart. Yeah, covering the weapon. So not only does Pierre not get the weapon, but he also, at red, gets punished pretty heavily for going for it, which eventually ended into the KO. Landed the KO. Yo, our first uh, map change in a hot while. We're going to Small Mammoth. Uh, well, still not a surprise it's Mammoth, but, you know, I'm glad to see it. I like the map switch. Dodges inside of it. Okay. Cody, not respecting the SIG. But also not getting the, the neutral light reset. Yo. Ooh, nice. Caught him with that neutral. And Pierce landed a bunch of those that like neutral light uh, pivot neutral SIG. He's landed like so many against now multiple opponents. Right, nice. Yeah, Wait, that's definitely a, a signature oh! for. Ooh. Wow. Big hit. Nice. That's, Finally connected on it. That's a pretty good stock for Pier too. Like a deep, a deep yellow. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yo? <laughs> Just oh, trying to build that damage right now. Didn't recover. Wow. Ooh. That was so nice for Pier. I'm yeah. oh, high off of that. This is uh, this is some big stock from Pier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Good coverage from Pierre there. d sig into side air because you are still in the air after it, so he didn't have to jump for the side air, just fell right into it. Yo, d -Light still just barely beating it out. Will Pierre be able to take this stock and then get... Ooh, okay. And that answers my question. Yeah, even Cody, Cody Travis really evening it, it up. Really That's got to be that. careful. I mean, he's on the edge of it. One of those uh, Pierre down sigs and he'll be... Oh. He'll be, you called that desync like immediately. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Man, Cody is deep red here. Nobody's yeah, still alive. You're right. Yeah. That's and there it is. A lot of good damage though, but it's essentially how the game started, right? Like Pierre getting the stock and being at like a deep yellow. And a lot of it is on the back of his scythe. Like, his scythe resets are actually very clean, and Cody is, is he's yeah. taking a lot of damage for it. Cody's kind of, he's doing kind of what a, a little cap move there, that standstill, right? Like, essentially a movement check. That's got to be the KO, right? Nice. nice. Okay. Yep, there it is. Pierre's still in it. I mean, sorry, Cody Travis can still definitely um, build that damage back up. He's got his but bow. Duke has been so right, though. Pierre has been just popping off all game with this scythe. No, but now he's on the bow. Back to the D6. Weapon toss. Nice. Can he finish it? Okay. No Soft platform up. help. Smart from Cody. Throw the weapon down, cover himself so he can actually hit the ground, get those jump resets. Ooh. The recoveries from Cody Travis. Yeah, that's the second time he's done that, huh? Landed two recoveries in a row. Oh, Cody? It's even now. Ooh, almost caught him with that GC down sick. Here's not falling for it again. It happened last game, not this time. Yeah, I feel like we saw Pierre just throw out a little more signatures, just hoping to confirm the kill, but you know, that Yo, just gave Cody just one. enough time to even it up. 
Nice. That's there it nice. is. The D-Light recovery. Pierre played so well that game. I think Pierre's got this thing going on with his his bow. He does a lot of D sigs, right? And like at first, I'm like, that's kind of goofy because people just jump over it and you get punished for it. But what's nice is like it makes your opponent want to jump a lot, and then he switches to the scythe and he he hits more end sigs than anyone else is hitting. So oh. I think there's like this kind of mind game that's happening with Pierre, where he's like setting up with the bow and then finishing off with that scythe. I'm you know I'm kind of hoping to see another big peer play here after what we saw after what we saw last game i just i really want to see it again well we'll see what happens this is game three winner of this one gets to stay inside of this exhibition mm -hmm. okay super even right now cody nice nice okay smart appear go high get over top of the neutral sig there Went for the Cody there. tried what Pierre has been going for. That <laughs> neutral life pivot, neutral sigma Pierre is like, nah, nah, nah. I know what you, I know what you're going for. Pierre's got the scythe now. He's gonna, oh, and he goes for it as well. Yeah. Little neutral chick. <laughs> I don't see it working again for a little while. Both of them going for it. Both of them understanding that's the option. And yet Cody really wants these down six. D six oh, from Cody. Of, there it is. Sneak it up. <laughs> now Cody has the lead. Can get that Bit extra credit departure. Though. I think, oh, really wanted again that neutral light reset. But Pierre's not letting him get it. Ooh, oh, there it is. So instead of the neutral light pivot, it was a soft side light pivot neutral sig. So a little bit of a switch up there for Pierre. Same idea, but a switch up. Really well. I love seeing that. That's really cool. That was like pivot neutral six to catch people. Uh oh. Nice. Oh, the oh, side six wow. for movement and he touches oh. Cody Travis. I can't believe there wasn't a KO there. I thought with that turnaround from Cody Travis that it was over for Pierre. I mean, emotionally it is. He's dead inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, that's a, a hard blow to take to the mental. I mean, that was a great one. Both players barely making it. Back as back on stage. Um, it really could have been either of them. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't think any of them were gonna make it back. <laughs> they were just both gonna fall. That was it. <laughs> Ooh, how does that not oh. hit? He was just, just too neck high. And neck. Yeah, who's gonna take this stock? Again. <laughs> Again, yeah. He's just a little Cody's, too high on those D six. Cody's swinging right now. Pierce choosing when to throw out the attack, but Cody's just swinging. Well, he's got Pierre in the red, and he doesn't want to let this stock live too long, but yeah, he swings too hard, Pierre, he's going to get punished. Pierre's also got that bow just a little bit easier to confirm. Yeah, Cody, D-Light like... recovery. Yep. Just like that! D-Light recovery! Totally right there, Cirrus. So much easier to confirm with that true combo for the for the KO. What were you saying, it seems Cody like Cody's doing? been favoring the, uh, the scythe a little more. <gasps> Oh. Maybe not so much after that stream. <laughs> <laughs> not a fan. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. Yep. You, he had the scythe. He's decided, no, we're, we're sticking with yeah. the bow here. And I think that's the right play. He's seemed a little more confident on the bow. Let's go. He's been hitting more signatures on it, too. Yep. Done. There it is. Oh. So you're totally right. What a play from Cody. Is that double ground pound at the end? Bow ground double pound. Double Yep. And uh, more importantly, that puts Cirrus at one and five. You know, <laughs> if we're keeping track at match, home, if we're, if we're keeping track at home, just more I important. I said it before the match, and I'll say it now. Congratulations, Cody Travis. <laughs> yeah, you exactly. did. You're right. You're aware. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I mean, Cody moves on in the lower bracket there. We saw, honestly, great plays from, from both of them. It just depends on the game, what plays you're looking at, right? What player you're looking at. But that was so much fun to watch. Cody Florida with that ending. Somewhere. And just waiting to get into burrito bets with me. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. He's like, that's free real estate. Yeah. <laughs> it's a free burrito. That's uh, a free burrito right there. But now we're going into the best of fives. We're going to get to yes. see these sets get a little bit more extended, get to see how people adapt to the way that their opponents are playing. And we've got yeah. our top four. Sandstorm, Ethan, Faison, and Cody Travis. 
Yeah, you know, I was predicting at the at the beginning of the tournament that we we're going to see uh, Sandstorm and Phazon in the top four, but I was expecting Phazon honestly to be in the lower bracket. Um, but after seeing Ethan play, I am not surprised he's in winners finals. Ethan has definitely had a great run today. Um, you know, I did not call him in the first match, and I regret that. And <laughs> I will be calling him from now on. But yeah. you know, he's again he's Sandstorm. Just... I guess Sandstorm, you gotta go. <laughs> Sandstorm, you, you already said it. <laughs> you are, are, you, I mean... are you committing to that? Uh, has, Sandstorm has lost, right? So he can he can do a losers run. I mean, we've seen Sandstorm <laughs> destroy some losers runs. So oh yeah, that's it is true. totally possible. I you know I feel like that's a Sandstorm technique as well. Just drop down the losers and and run it through there. Yeah, I mean, dude, I think you know better than us. Like Sandstorm in the lower bracket is yeah. scary. He's he's definitely a, a bracket demon though. Okay. Um, it's funny though because Ethan hasn't lost a game. Sandstorm has. So I'm just saying. That's right. Yeah. He's playing, okay. playing pretty well today. Ethan's, oh man, Ethan's scythe plays and bow plays both. Yep. Just overall, Ethan's plays have been great, like just phenomenal. I still I think agree. the play of the game has been Ethan on the bow. Yep. The play of the play of the uh, the tournament. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. That, Ethan, that Ethan under stage gimp. That was so good. Yeah. Really showed some uh, some great skill on the scythe as well. But you know, will he be able to hold that in a best of five? against Sandstorm. That's what I yeah. want to know. Sandstorm's a tough one, which is putting it very lightly. This is where that uh, that adaptability is going to come in, and Sandstorm's like one of the best at adapting. Yeah. And I mean, also, these are old 2v2 partners, you know? Cirrus, you mentioned at mm -hmm. the beginning, uh, Ethan used to play 2v2 with Sandstorm, BCX 2018. So maybe Ethan still has a bit of a read on how Sandstorm plays. Right. See? I mean, I'm putting my, I, I'm putting my bet towards a sandstorm. As much as I love Ethan and how he's been playing, I also would not be surprised if Ethan gets the victory. But I think Ooh, this leads sandstorm here. We've got the Demon Island pick. Nice. Yeah, it's interesting to see how uh, how we're gonna have some edge guarding and, and off stage control change. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Best of five. Sirs, who did you pick for this? I just I, I want to make sure. So we can I'm going track. in Sandstorm. You're going I can't Sandstorm. Bet against okay. Sandstorm. Oh, I mean, if you're going Sandstorm, I have to I have to start rooting for my boy Ethan. You know, I would okay. say I would be surprised if Ethan gets it. No, and now I'm just going to say not. Ethan does get it. Ethan wins oh. these. All of the patience right there from Ethan, uh, waiting out the wake up attack from Sandstorm. Unfortunately, didn't like get a good punish on it, but I just the idea of it is really cool. Mm-hmm. You know, Slosh, if this was a best of three, I'd say Ethan has a better shot. But but with Sandstorm at a best of five, I just think those last, those final few games, Sandstorm is going to get the read with the characters, with the signatures, and then and then take the series. That is a classic Sandstorm thing. Like the longer the set goes on, the better right. he gets. Ooh! Oh snap! Wow! Smart idea from Ethan. Even better punish from Sandstorm oh. for the KO. That was oh. Ooh. Oh, stuff the recovery too. Ethan was so just showing close. The yeah. offstage mastery. Oh. Okay. He spot dodge through that. I can't believe that made it all the way through. <laughs> was that, <laughs> that I was totally the, thought he was gonna get a one. He spot dodged through, and it was yeah. perfect, <laughs> frame right. perfect. I don't know how he's doing. Oh, Sandstorm! Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, buddy. All right, Sandstorm. Okay. You came to play. I, you know, we've been talking about the GC both side sings, and yeah. Sandstorm is showing everyone exactly why you need to be afraid of that. I mean, that one GC'd off stage is nasty. It's and you so know, good. we've been seeing most of them towards the stage to catch the nice. Oh, Ooh. nice. Um, but yeah, we've been seeing them mostly towards the stage to catch recovery. But that time, Sandstorm just called Ethan out completely. Yeah, cheeky little ground pound to to end that stock, but. You know, Ethan a whole stock behind, uh, yeah. despite how close those both those KOs were both. Ethan fishing for the down air finally gets one. Nice interrupt. Oh. Yeah. Get the dodge. Sans are starting to read these these down airs and get proper punishes. Starting to throw out a lot of side sigs though. Ethan's done a good job avoiding them, but man, when they hit, they're so devastating. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That was That's quick. An option. <laughs> Sandstorm okay. just punishing with that side sig on and off stage. Just was... leaving Ethan no room on that demon island. So, GC and light, and then following up with a recovery. 
is pretty normal to do on Bo, but at deep red off stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about the position as... for that God, one. That that GC side sig. That was so good. And off off screen as well. I mean, talk yeah. about just adding to the layers of risk there. Boy. All right, Sam we're going Sorry, back into it. Two. Game yep. two. Back. Who's surprised? Back to Brawlhaven, baby. All right, two sides. Arguably each other's best weapons. All right. Kind of just trading blows so far. Yeah, they're kind of feeling it out still. I know it's game two, but, you know, new map. New map, new me. Anything but the early momentum. lead. Nah. Ooh, nah. Not able to connect those signatures just yet. Yeah, he tried the both. He tried the neutral light and sig. He tried the side light and sig. Not working. Sandstorm dodged differently out of both of them, too. Oh! 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 Caught the spot dodge. What a read from Sandstorm. Man, Ethan was looking so good at the start, too. That's upsetting. But it's Brawlhaven. We've been saying it. You cannot extend a stock on Brawlhaven. And you can see... Oh! <laughs> what a read! Ethan catching him with that neutral. One of I the mean, few we've seen today. First stocks don't matter. Back to even. That's so funny, man. Like, you didn't have to read that. You had Delight Recovery, but he decided to grab a book <laughs> off the shelf because he was bored. <laughs> like, what? He needed, to, he needed to let everyone know. He's like, no, 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 no. I, I know what I'm doing. I got the read on Sandstorm. Don't worry. Oh. The other side six. Sandstorm's been landing so many really good side six on both weapons, but I think the most impressive ones this game has been on the site. Did anyone uh, happen to catch Sandstorm's level on Moonen just yet? I didn't. Um, it's yeah. definitely higher than Ethan's. I want to say it was like in nine uh, at the start of the set, but I mean, obviously they're they're leveling it up as it goes. For Deal sure. Recovery. Just showing a lot more comfort with those signatures. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. You know, a, he's he's catching a lot more, and he's doing great position to to just just assert dominance with those with those signatures. Yeah. Doesn't really feel like he's just throwing them out. You're right. It's kind of they feel a bit more calculated than a lot of other uh, signature usage we've been seeing uh, in this exhibition. Yeah, it definitely right, hasn't been uh, doing just like the raw D sig. Nice. Ethan with a wake up though. Nice, that side sig. Ethan holding on to that scythe, he's gonna want to build up the damage on this last stock. Yeah, he's been definitely favoring the scythe this game. You know, we yeah. saw him in the past uh, swapping between the weapons pretty effortlessly. Oh, but oh, wow, <laughs> another call out, Please. Sandstorm. Quick answer back with that D sig, sending him off stage and taking the three O for the set. Uh, oh, that's, no, it's oh, that's the second it's two currently. That's two the second we're, we're in best of five. We're in best of five. Oh, best of five. I know you're excited right. to get your point. <laughs> cheesy side stick. Sandstorm oh, you again, should yeah. see me smiling right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, Sandstorm, two, Ethan, O. Oh, I think, okay, uh, you know, back to Brawlhaven, and I'm going to say it again. I don't think this is the right pick after how Sandstorm has just been taking the stocks more efficiently than Ethan has been. And if someone's taking stocks efficiently, Brawlhaven is gonna be their stage. Yeah, I mean, the big thing is like those those SIG reads that were mm -hmm. connecting onto Ethan, they're gonna KO so fast on small Brawlhaven. Whereas yeah. like a Demon Island, Ethan can live a little bit longer with it. Yeah, you're totally right. And, and you know, maybe Ethan's trying to do the same thing, right? Like he needs to get these efficient stocks too. Nice punish. Just, that was a really good punish. He's oh. showing Sandstorm the respect, not going too much off stage. Yeah. Just kind of using those down sigs for space, but that's about it. He does not want to engage him out there. I mean, you saw what happened last game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. Gets a side sig. Ethan with the lead. People have been figuring out side, side sig here. It's showing up a lot more than it has in the past few games. Ooh. Is that Is it? That be no? enough? Nope. Able to touch. Get that wing up there. Oh, good dodge. Whoa, Gets underneath good. it. That, yeah, you're right. That was a great dodge. Ooh. You didn't go okay. on it? Okay. You know what? Might have been for the best that that ground pat was on stage. <laughs> like a camp for Sandstorm. Right, Just like that, it up. is neck and neck. Oh, man. <laughs> what a side string. And then the wait as he knew Ethan's dodge was coming up. Oh, and the end Wow. Sig. Another call out. Ooh! Oh! 
Oh, the wow. tail end of that. Just clipping him on that. Ethan taking, I think, his first lead of the set. Right? No? I mean, he I started he this took game the with the, the lead. That's right. That's too, right. Yeah. He, he took the first stock. Okay. That he's keeping the momentum is what I meant to say. Oh, oh he's Ethan. trying to do that GC side sick. Yep. Oh, beat out the that ground he ground. got caught with. Nice. <gasps> is that oh. it? No. Sandstorm able to make it back. Oh, the that's stage spike! Wow! Two stock from Ethan! Huge! Let's go. Oh, what they're running back so fast. Yeah. We got one <laughs> GG emoji out, and we're immediately back into stage select. <laughs> that was the immediate lock-in. Man, I'm surprised that that stage spike just, like, barely was enough to get underneath the stage. Yeah, well, yeah and it definitely because it, it also stuffed the recovery, so there was just, yeah. just no options left. But here we go. Game number four. Ethan's on the board. Currently 1-2 uh, in favor of Sandstorm. Oh, he tried to spot dodge through it, but he couldn't get the end light out fast enough. Sandstorm, Sandstorm really Storm applying that pressure with the bow. Running this stock. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a read! The GC down light neutral sig. A beautiful wow. combination. Showing mastery of those signatures already. I, that was... Nuts. I, Went to the man. same library, stole the same book, read the same page and everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, again, he could have just went for the recovery after, but instead, he's... Oh. Okay, secures it at the neutral sink. Okay. Ethan, getting a lot of extra credit here. All right, DC. Nice. That'll there even it up. Is. Okay. I said extra credit. I meant like actual, actual credit. <laughs> that wasn't extra. This was <laughs> this was getting the test done. Yeah, he started the test a little bit late, but you know he caught up. Yeah, he caught up. Completely. Ethan not wanting to risk those uh, down signatures on the on the edge. Probably doesn't want those recovery frames. But the D sig from Sandstorm, and he's got a big lead here. He could be going uh, yeah. into the grand finals. And you know, Ethan before was able to sneak past those D sigs, and this time it's just not. It's just Sandstorm's landing them. Nice. Ethan is spot okay. dodging a lot. Yeah, I think. Oh, okay. Almost got okay. it. Not looking good Ooh. here for either of them. Honestly, I could have went okay. either way. Nice. I'd say good one. Bit of a lead here for Sandstorm, but we've already seen Ethan equalize with this type of deficit. Right, from this exact situation. Yeah, but we also have seen Sandstorm just get a GC side sig here. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Yeah, he says, Slosh, you saw the GC side sig. Let yeah, me show you the GC neutral sig. That was a slide charge. A slide charge. Was for it. He called it out so ahead of time. There's so much momentum on that. Like, he dashed into it, and he went so far so he fast. Zoomed. zoomed. Got two major call-outs. Look at that. In that, that GC neutral sig. I, man, yeah, the GC neutral sig, and then, I, yeah, I think every every stock from Sandstorm was a major call-out. Especially that first one, and especially that last stock. Yeah, some goodness. big sigs, but uh, the oh. players are excited. We're going down yep. to the loser semifinal, and Cody and Faison banned out the maps already. They're getting into it. Uh, We're going this for it. Goes into third, uh, guaranteed top three to fight Ethan. Yeah. Okay, Faison, Cody Chavez three, back to Brawlhaven. Two, no surprises. Brawl. Let's see how it goes. Just, no. Oh, the way. Okay. <laughs> I was like, was I was about to say like, is there something wrong? We gonna, <laughs> we gonna start over here? What's, what's going on? It's the, uh, bro, I know we have twos this weekend, but, like, don't be mad. Whichever one of us wins. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. Cyrus, who do you think's got this one? Uh, Faison. <laughs> yeah? Right, right. Yeah, yeah Faison's Faison got a really coming. solid first stock here. Yeah, they just locked straight in, went right in. Waiting. Yeah, I didn't have a second to even go over what was happening. Phazon with a nice lead, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm comfortable with that Phazon pick. <laughs> you know, because at first I thought it was because Phazon had the lead. But, you know, Cody Travis evened it up a little bit, and I still felt good about my pick, so. 
Faison, you're right though. Faison did have a really good first stock. Cody Travis was starting to come back, so Faison was like, okay, I need to end this. I need to end this quick. Let's see if Cody could do the same thing. See if he can just get this over quick. Oh no. Oh. Turn around. Why? Oh. Do that? oh, I know. He, he could have chosen to. Faison <laughs> taking it all the way out. Cody's what? active input decisions are so weird. He did like a hard yeah. side light instead of going for the soft for the end sig. He did a dare that didn't active input and just then did a dare that active input it to save Phazon. <laughs> like it's yeah. just so weird. That was also a double turnaround, right? So like Phazon had that early offstage play and then Cody turned that around and then Phazon turned that around. <laughs> Man, Scythe offstage. You know, I really want to see more Cody Travis on bow, but it just seems like a lot of the players are favoring Scythe right now, especially for this exhibition. Yeah. I mean, a well, lot of the players see... are, are generally just Scythe players as a whole. Yeah. 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 So it's no surprise, right? Except for, for Cody, who we've said has been, has more, I think has more history in tournament with the bow. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Punish the D-Sig with his own D-Sig. Good decision making. Gravity canceled yeah. it, so he was above it too. Smart. Okay. I think the, the scythe down and neutral signatures also give a lot of opportunity for poke that people are trying to exploit right now. Just yeah. you know, going in and, and just making space for themselves. Good edge You're guard. right. And I'm really hoping to see people go for okay. more punishes against the scythe neutral sig because it has... I mean, you're up in the air in recovery frames, so just like that, right? There's actually quite a bit of opportunity for punish that I would, I would like to see more of. Yeah, go in for the anti-air, get something from underneath, can be really good. I mean, nice side sig, though. Yeah, and, and I mean, everyone's playing, everyone's playing Moon in. Oh, Cody! Oh, nice. <clears throat> nice, Cody brought it back. He's got to make Sir behind. sweat. Yeah. yeah I, I am shaking my head so hard right now. <laughs> That was, I, you know, that was a really, really great comeback from Cody. You know, we were focused mostly on Faison through that because Faison was really controlling things. And Cody just kind of snuck a win in there. Yeah. And and I think it was when he picked up that bow. Yeah. You know, he, yeah, he sure. built that lead up and, and just uh, and ended up taking the game. Like, Cody's scythe has moments, but then you have that, like, that one stock where he that was just stock. doing all the wrong active inputs. And it's like, Where's all right, Cody. Yeah, yeah size, second man. stock. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, Cody, back to the bow. And when he went to the bow, yeah, he got the game. So maybe we'll see more of that here. I mean, obviously, he doesn't have much of a choice here at the beginning, starting with the scythe. But he is holding his own not so much. Phase on off stage. Nice. Oh. He did touch. But the DC nice. first stock. Nice. Taking Cody Travis out, barely in yellow. Yeah, that's hardly any damage dealt. And that D-Sig, like, with these small walls on Demon Island, covers basically the whole wall. Oh, what? That was an option. What a play. Gravity Ooh. Cancel d -Light. I haven't seen that mid-air string. Cody finally getting some damage in, though. As we said, he got this bow getting some damage. But Faison has a lot of momentum. Landed a lot of D-Sigs. Good jump. Avoided the end sig from Phazon, but Cody is still very much behind. Delight nice. recovery, not enough. Demon Island does have a bigger KO box. Well, not enough to cover a side sig though at, at a pretty decent red. <laughs> nice, but you know, Cody's still pretty damaged. Phazon's gonna really wanna get this. If he gets this stock like near now, it's gonna be pretty hard for Cody to come back. Yeah. Oh, he wants it. A lot of side airs. No end light. Nice. That Faison side sig is... Sig. So, okay. We haven't seen a lot of side sigs from the scythe. It's kind of funny. We were talking about the bow side sig, but now, I mean, dude, what do you think? Is it more of this scythe side sig that's paying off or the bow side sig for people? I mean, I really like the side side sig. It, it's interesting because like when we saw it earlier, it was getting beaten out a lot, right? Like I think it was in the, the Phazon and Java set where they were just like yeah. feeding out with light attacks. So I'm kind of curious if that's going to start happening again as people get used to uh, those situations where it comes out. But when it hits, it's such a strong sig. Yeah, and it has that little bit of extra. Hold it. Ooh. Ooh. A little bit of extra at the end of it that has uh, that pushes forward there, and I think people are getting caught mostly by that trying to come in for a punish. Nice, for Cody. He's finished the stock though. D sig's not going to do it. Bouncing off the stage. Yeah, it's not going to cut it. 
smart from Phazon. Push off stage to get the weapon. Again, these D Sigs are like smart. They're not KOing, but they're putting a po like they're putting them in great positions to get a KO. Oh, this, this is, is got this is Phazon's game here. Yeah. Deep red, last stock. Phazon with a whole extra stock. That weapon Ooh, toss. Interrupt. Okay. He's got a perfect Cody stock. Cody Travis. Still in it. Yeah. Yeah, Duke, you're right, though. Like, yeah, Ceres, he's still in it, but he's got a perfect stock this and instead, Phazon doesn't even get touched. It's okay, one apiece. Cody one Travis piece? and Phazon both on the board. Are we going to go back to Ceres gets to feel a little better. Small Mammoth seems Small to mammoth. be the selection this time. That was a pretty well-paced game, though. A lot of these have been, like, we've been seeing a lot of really flashy plays, but this set has been just kind of a, a well-paced game of just, like, spots of explosions. Right. And a really good back and forth between the two. Yeah. All right, Cody start with the bow. That's really good for him. We've been seeing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's sorry. Not so That's on. not so good. No, I take it back. Was that three neutralites? <laughs> yeah. not just back and forth, bro. Come on. Cody just trying to fast while he's like, you're not going to end like another time. Yeah, there's no way he goes for another one. Okay, Cody, that hasn't been working. No, I mean, he does have the lead. Very slightly, but if Faison gets another one of these side sigs near the edge of the stage like he's Is been he getting. No. Let's see how Cody finishes it off. He's trying here. Phazon. Oh, he doesn't get Ooh. the punish, though. Oh. Phazon doesn't get the punish there, but he gets a side sig. GC Still side sig. Enough. Bounces off Amazing. the stage. Not as powerful as that spike that we've been seeing for people. Nice <laughs> turn. Oh. That's going to yeah, be it gone. for Cody's stock. Phazon, surprising, getting that stock after he was kind of behind for most of it. Yeah, he took a lot of damage there, but Cody just not able to find that finishing blow. Like, he didn't get the D light for the setup into the end sig or anything like that, or the recovery. But now Phazon's just a breath away from getting KO'd. Yeah, he's almost in that deep red color. Yeah, he's, he's pretty deep already. It's it's starting to turn that, I think, the barbecue sauce. <laughs> there it is. Deer yeah. will definitely do it. Cody finally able to confirm that. Yo. Almost had the read. Yeah, Cody wants to get some neutral lights of his own. Oh, oh, yep. oh okay, oh, okay. okay. He needed that nair. You saw that chase dodge. He was sweat beating off of it. That means he had no yeah. movement if he didn't hit that nair. Yeah, that was really dangerous for Cody and really well played by Phazon. Oh. Would have loved to see that d sig hit. Yeah, he read Phazon going around instead of immediately going for the touch. All right. Oh, Ooh. Oh, ground pound. Yeah, Phazon Phazon by just avoiding that. Yeah, and there's a side sig. Another side side sig. Still, Phazon in the red. Doesn't have much of a lead, so he's going to have to get these little hits here and there to be able to get some sort of extra credit to keep this lead. I think and you're Cody. right, Slosh. We're starting to see that, that side sig on Scythe be used a lot more as these yeah. games have been progressing. <clears throat> Just a lot of like lateral coverage on it. It's It goes really far, mm -hmm. right? Like, And the GC just above the stage has been really good for beating stuff like these D-Light approaches. Yeah, it's some great force, great coverage, vertical and horizontal. Cody still needs to finish the stock, though. Yeah, Phazon's just living. All the hits that Cody's getting just aren't these KO hits, right? Like side air from the other side of the stage, it's not going to be it. Oh. A nair, a nair, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Phazon tried again to get those, those neutral lights. It's not even a string. I was going to call it a neutral light string. It's just neutral lights. My favorite combos are the uh, same move into same move into same move. <laughs> you know, Phazon, I'm really light. hoping. Okay, I was going to say, I hope he gets something off of one of these neutral lights, and he just did there. Almost the KO on Cody. Yo, yeah, turn Cody around just opportunity. barely oh. making it back. He dared yeah, into was, the wall. That was, yeah, that was unfortunate. Phazon's going to go for that neutral or the down sig to finish soon. That, or he's kind of spacing for a side sig here, honestly. Yo, these turn around dares. Cody's bringing the damage back. Ooh, D-Sig. Let's go. Is he that was almost the KO. It? Yeah, is Cody going to get another oh, steal? He does. There it is. Again, we spent most of it talking about how Phazon's in the lead, and then last stock, Cody just sneaks it by us. Cody did 705 damage. <laughs>
And again, really? Cody Travis. <laughs> That's the least the efficient. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe take him to Brawlhaven. Jeez, Cody. <laughs> also, yeah, what a snipe for the KO. Wow. I got to hand it to Cody. He is hanging on. 235 yeah. damage per stock. <laughs> I can't believe that, dude. <laughs> Oh, first, I think this is the first Great Hall. All right. Yeah, we haven't oh, had a Great Hall. It'll be first interesting to see how these are. Uh, than one platform. The, yeah, the, mm. I want to know how these platforms are going to play into things. Like, are they going to go for more vertical stuff or, or what? Yeah, are we going to see uh, a neutral light from Phazon into a ledge cancel neutral light? I guess we'll see. Risky ground down. Yeah, Off Cody's going to get punished for Ooh, it. Nice. Ooh, Cody Big getting punished badly on. for that. Yeah. And uh, didn't see anything from the platforms that stock. Honestly, that right. was all main stage and then off stage. We've got three platforms now. Let's just stick off stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, good read. Good punish, mostly. Cody picked yeah, up Faisal. that scythe. I think you know. I think it's smart that they're trying to stick under these platforms because you can see, like, I think uh, Phase on there there did the low neutral. No, he didn't even need to go for that. Yep, he that was a that was a just in case. Yeah really racking on the damage uh which as we saw from last game he really really <laughs> needs <laughs> but yeah uh these both neutral sticks actually really cover those those soft platforms really well so you can see that most of the time they are sticking underneath the platforms oh right just like that Ooh, catching him with that neutral exactly yeah. what you were talking about cody was trying to land on the soft platform but that neutral stick covers most of that platform So I don't want to count Cody out yet, though, because apparently he wins these. Yeah, he, he just sneaks back <laughs> in and gets the couple of hits that he needs. And by couple, yeah, I mean the, the 230 hits that he needs. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, the neutral. He finally got the slide charge here to six. There is. He finally got it. <laughs> Thank you to the platforms. The raw side okay. sig to finish Cody, it off. There All we right. go. Keep that bow, please. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you, Cody. Finn. <clears throat> He's been doing so well on this bow. I feel like I've seen Faison grab that bow a little more in this match as well. Mm -hmm. And I oh, wonder if that is down? because of the platforms. Okay. Yeah, because uh, the bow neutral light and the neutral stick both cover the platform really well. Plus right. uh, the jump side airs. <gasps> oh, Cody is coming alive. Yeah, I mean, it's still like weirdly even. I really thought that Cody after like Oh, after all these hits would be ahead here, and he is starting to pull ahead. I mean, that's partly the uh, Ooh, the moon and stat great. line. Big D sig though. Not enough to send him off. There, that's that's it. it. It's the down hour. Cody gets it three one. Dude, he's so precise with that. That's it's like a, a raw arrow shot just out in the sky, yeah. and he hits the down air twice, uh, two games in a row to finish off. You know, I'm. I'm surprised, honestly. Like Faison was looking so well in. Most of these games, honestly, up until the last game, where uh, even though it was both last stock, Cody was really controlling the game through like that yep. whole that whole final one. That was really well played, really really well played. And uh, I mean, another loss for Cirrus. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd forgotten. No, nope. I was really hoping. You'd I was forgotten. honestly, no, I was I... just waiting to say it. I, I just, yeah. uh... <laughs> All right, Cirrus. Well, up next, next, we've got next Ethan and Cody Travis. So uh, yeah. I'm going to go for Ethan on this one. Okay. Um, he's got the DJ, the DJ skin. So you know that's a plus as well. Yeah, and this is this is this is the run back. To, this is to get into grand finals. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh, it, it is uh, to get into grand finals. Of course, winner of this goes on to fight Sandstorm. But it's also the run back because they fought right. like literally the first game of our our exhibition. Ethan and we saw Ethan take that two zero as well. Yeah. Yeah. But to give Cody Cr Travis some credit, he has been uh, getting more and more comfortable with that bow. So yeah. um, let's, I, you know, I, what I want to see is Cody Travis holds onto that bow and starts using those signatures effectively. Yeah, I think, I mean, that's what he was really succeeding at in this last, this last set. Be nice to see that going forward. But yeah, Ethan also has just been Three, popping off. No, no one can deny <clears throat> Ethan's been popping off. And you know it, it is going to be tough. Ethan's going to grab that scythe and he's going to he's going to lean on it, and and you're going to want to pick up the scythe to answer back. And actually, we're starting on these weapons reverse of 
what kind of we were hoping to see right away. Right. Yo. Ethan, no. Oh, he went for okay, it. Turn around. Cody's going to reverse it. Nice weapon toss. Ooh. Pick up the sight. Oh, didn't get the opportunity. Great, great, great offstage play. That was, you know, that was really risky to go for the, the neutral layer there from Ethan because if he was a little late on that, that ground pound was KOing. Yeah, I mean, that thing's got such low priority, but Ethan hits the SIG. That's a stock. That was a yeah. fast one. Yep. That was like 30 seconds. Yep, ex yep, about 30. Just real clean. And, you know, I thought it was neck and neck at the start. I mean, it kind of was, but Ethan just kind of pulled it out at the end there, got just like one more play, and that play happened to lead to the KO. And Cody had a really good offstage pressure, but Ethan's just like trading out better, getting more damage. But, I mean, Cody wins these. <laughs> if he goes to Bo, he wins. He's, he's, yeah. he's on Scythe again. Side sig, okay. That was a really nice follow up, that down air into the ground and follow up with the side sig. Nice. Ooh! Ooh. Caught the barely clipping Not him enough. on the edge. These, these signature follow ups have been really great for Cody. Cody is starting to hurt. If he doesn't confirm that stock soon, Ethan oh, is going to take a massive me. lead. This has got to be it from Ethan, right? No, Cody gets around. Okay. Wild end sig there. Cody didn't punish, but the oh, down heavy. Little break after dance. Dance. That's what we've been talking about, though. I think he was going for the side sig there, and we just finally saw a punish on the side sig that we've just been waiting for. It's not an unpunishable signature. Wow. Just on wake up. Just yep. stop, yeah. halts all of that scythe momentum Cody was trying to get. But Cody's next weapon is a bow. Let's see how it how it goes. But I mean, Ethan's just controlling the momentum here. He's keeping that pressure on him. Mm-hmm. And not letting him he's not giving him any room to string that bow. That was good. I liked that. Oh. <laughs> to nair on nair. Cody? Cody's got to get a KO here if he wants to stay in this game. And Ethan's just looking so strong. Like, one signature here, especially right near the edge of the stage. It's, oh, it's over with it. Cody was thinking the same thing. Yep. <laughs> I... I mean, Second time's a charm. Sing. Yeah, they just did the same thing twice, but Cody gets that. Mm. And only barely did it spike, right? That was like right at the edge of that soft platform. And now Ethan has to be careful because <clears throat> Cody can sneak this win out. Every time we've seen someone get comfortable in their lead, Cody's like, okay, cool. And that's my victory yeah, somehow. This is, this cool. is his uh, his win condition is to get down to final stocks first. But the D-Sig <laughs> hits and Ethan's going to take game number one. Right, nice, spaced yeah. perfectly to get that damage right over the edge. Yeah, that was I was just thinking of D-Sig, and I think maybe Cody giving them the the confidence of being in the lead, maybe not working this time around with Ethan. He did get stuck on the scythe for a lot of that one. Like the the first mm -hmm. and, and like I want to see at least the first half of the second stock were both uh scythe heavy. Okay. Right back into game, game two. two. Yeah, see if Ethan can keep the momentum. Just a two piece. Okay. Bow flares on bow to start it off. Oh, there we go. We finally got a bit of a follow up. Oh, snap. But... Ooh, Ethan oh, Ethan's off stage with that bow. You gotta be careful against these ground pounds. He's so far, he's. Oh, Spot what dodge! A dodge. <laughs> nice, dude. Oh. Cody tried to do the same. You saw him jump into the uh, side sig, but he couldn't spot yeah. dodge in time. And Ethan has been getting a lot of these wake up signatures. Cody's got to, <laughs> just like that. Yeah. Cody's got to watch out for these. They've been working for Ethan. Cody's got to remember that Ethan is going for these wake up signatures. Cody was able to bring it back. You know, he was in quite the deficit earlier, but he picked up that scythe and he built the damage. So, you know, he's still in it. Ethan can, um, Ethan can lose the stock at any moment. Yeah, he's definitely close to KO percent. Yeah. Might take a little bit more. Yeah, on the bow. Unless, yo, unless he gets that down air. Okay, now There's Ethan's stage. really ripe for a KO. I'm waiting to down see airs. which signature they're going to use. I don't think he's going to. It's been down airs and stairs. Yeah, Cody yeah. Travis signaling the light attacks. A little Smart. bit safer. 
Honestly, yeah, Ethan has been punishing Cody's signature, so it's smart to just lay off for a second, go for what he's been good at so far in the set, which is landing the down airs, landing the side airs. Ethan. Another down sig off stage. Oh, okay, he's reading jumps now. Oh, nice. Nope. Yep, read that one. Nice. <clears throat> Again, he's getting real Ethan. good at that, that pivot and sig. We've seen it a bunch from now everybody, right? Everyone's going for that pivot and sig, and it just works. Yeah, that pivot and sig is going to be a great read. I think we're going to see a lot of that. I mean, we're already seeing a lot of it, right? Like, Oof. I think now everyone watching is like, oh, wait, I can just do that? <laughs> okay, cool. Everyone I can't wait to fight. Station. They're just, they're just writing that right down. Now. Yeah, oh, write that down, write that down. Cody is in trouble here. Cody, He's in yeah. deep orange on his last oh, stock. the dare. Yeah. Ethan's expecting the down airs now, and Cody's unable to get them. Cody trying to confirm, just throwing out those sigs, but nothing has connected. He That's really needs do this it. here. This is the dare. Side Ethan. the stage. He's got movement. Mm hmm And I'll get back up. Ooh. Nice. Side <laughs> sig to finish. Just high enough of a hitbox, and Ethan's currently up 2-0. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't really know. Like, what do you think? I guess Duke, yeah, what do you think Cody needs to do here to to get this to get this win here? I think his 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 toughest part is not getting the KO confirms. Like he's he's yeah. struggling to finish stocks, and that's where like Ethan starts to get that extra credit, starts to get that damage. But like if Cody can get those confirms, then I think it'll be okay. I think he'll be able to, to close it out, but Ethan's doing a really good job of avoiding it. Yeah, let's, I mean, different stage, right? We've moved over to Apocalypse. Not sure really what that means for Cody, um, but I guess we'll see. Oh, nice. Snap. Okay. Tried to wall combo. <laughs> yeah, Cody was just like, let me just let him tire himself out there. He just hangs on the side of the stage. He'll peter out. He'll be fine. That's one of those situations where you see them do it and you just go, nope, please don't. <laughs> Yeah, please stop, <laughs> sir, sir. Cody with a slight Again? lead, but uh, Ethan not letting that happen anytime soon. Yeah, and Ethan's really going for these, like a lot of these uh, strings and reads, and, and Cody's being really smart about them. But we're kind of in that same state, right? Where Cody Travis gets him into the red, mm -hmm. but he doesn't have a way to finish off the stock. Right, That's we've seen it time and time again with his scythe. Every Just game. unable to confirm. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh they both went the for they both went for down sig. You see that? They both were going for that down sig. I thought he was doing side. I thought Cody was oh. doing side. It looked like he was going for a jump. I mean, either okay. way, it doesn't matter what his was because <laughs> Ethan's beat it. But there we go. Yep. There's the down to finish it. And yeah. You see him sticking with the bow. He recognizes that's been the, the weapon that's been doing the best. Yeah. Ethan's just been good on, honestly, at both weapons. Yeah, Ethan's just really been playing Moon and really well this this whole this whole exhibition. But Cody got to hand it to him. Oh wow, he did get the KO at a decent time. Ethan didn't hang on to it, but Ethan's finally getting some some decent strings here. Oh, the end sig, oh. still not enough. Oh. Yeah, that, that side sig hits hard on Bo. I mean, especially that third one. You think you're out of the way, but you're not. What a play from Cody swatting Ethan away. Oh, he went for the ground pound. Trading side sigs. They heard you, sir. They're like, oh, yeah, that hits hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Boys. This is starting there to look go. like a Cirrus match with the, uh, with the <laughs> sigs just flying. Oh, man. Someone told them they had to finish stocks with sigs. That's what happened. Yeah. Wait, that's not what we're supposed to do? <laughs> no, that's, that's not the only way? What? Nice, Cody. That's, that's enough. Okay. That's oh, enough. Oh, oh, oh no, <laughs> You're Cody's helping him. him. I don't know if he had many other options to get back to stage, but uh, unfortunate either way. My goodness, man. Oh. He finally was getting a KO at a decent time, and Ethan has completely turned this around. You can see Cody now in the red. Not quite KO, but a side stick at yeah. the end of the stage would be the KO that Ethan wants here. He went for there it. There it is. I mean, dare bounce <clears throat> off the stage for the KO shows just how damaged Ethan was. And again, Cody not getting these efficient KOs. 
Yo. Ethan able to answer Ethan? back very quickly with his bow as well. Not Sounds really like giving reset, Cody man. any advantage nice. there. That's a 3-0? That's a 3-0 yeah, that's that's a a and a handshake. Ethan going to go back up into the grand finals. Cirrus uh, gets another one, and it wasn't off the back of just betting on Sandstorm. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. But was... to be fair, it was the back of betting on round two of this. So <laughs> <laughs> The run back. I'll take it. I'll take those. I mean, yeah. it's hard not to bet on Ethan. Honestly, we've been seeing him this this whole exhibition just just play really, really well. Even when he lost to Sandstorm, you saw like he took a game and he had in almost all the games had these great plays, right? Like got a bunch of damage, was holding his own. Right, it's just Sandstorm was just getting the reads, doing his Sandstorm thing that he does. Yeah, I think it's like Ethan's got really good fundamentals, really good aggression, but the one thing he's lacking is like his defensive options because Sandstorm is so good at reading out those defensive things and getting like the biggest possible punish on him. And if Ethan can get out of those dodge reads, like as long as he's not getting hit by a SIG on the edge of the map, I think he'll start to yeah. do okay. But we're going back to Small Brawl Haven, so he's going to get hit by a SIG on the edge of the map. Yeah, yeah, Sandstorm versus Ethan. Cirrus, who are you I'm feeling? I'm going for Sandstorm. Uh, yeah. You know, we saw some some what? real good real good strings in game two uh, in game two of the the first time they they played against each other. Shocked Pikachu face. What? <laughs> Sandstorm. Um, you know, I, I think Ethan will be able to hold his own a little bit better than uh, the first round. Um, and Ethan's really warm now. He's played. Yeah. He's played the He's most sets game. and games that anyone has done in this uh, yeah. Invitational. But there will that Sandstorm be enough for Sandstorm and I don't think so. He's dead. He's, 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 no. He's, he's, how? What? He's been sweat beating for like a hot hit. He's been in the gym. He is oh so stinky and sweaty. Wow. But there you go. Sandstorm gets the first stock. <laughs> Play like, all the games you want, but you come off stage and it's my house. Says Sandstorm with that. <laughs> Played a whole track. Yeah. I mean, you can do it. Like, Ethan should have been KO'd like. <laughs> Three, four hits earlier than he did get KO'd. I don't know how he, he survived as long as he did. Ooh. Okay. All right. Sandstorm has, he's thing. having some fun. He's <laughs> oh, yeah. cheeky with those bit. side six now. <laughs> so the, and, uh, that weapon I tosses cheek. I think it's Bona that says it all the time. When Sandstorm starts having fun, that's when you know it's it's bad. <laughs> right. All right, Ethan. Okay. Nice. Okay. We're all Haven. That Kitar emote, perfect, perfect. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's so, so I'm on glad brand. they both have it. It really is. Oh, yeah, because they're, they're both on, on, on Hugin, right? Like in the in the trailer, it was Hugin that was playing the, the Kitar. <laughs> so that's perfect. Is that the play? Is Are we just seeing Hugin dominate? <laughs> We're Hugin seeing clearly Hugin the better, uh, better sister. Right. I'm, Nobody talks I mean, about it. No one talks about it, you know, but Sandstorm <laughs> and Ethan both showing it off, right? <laughs> Having a D-Sig battle. Yeah. All right. Okay. Another end line might do it. Oh, okay. Oh, Ethan off stage. Jesus. Ethan, really let's go. He's evened yeah. it up right here in game one. It, yeah, it is pretty even, but Ethan was so damaged, though, that, like... Okay, Sansa's got both <laughs> instruments. That's why he's winning. He's playing both instruments. Ethan about to take the stock and get right back in there. Oh, if he does take the stock right here, that's going to be huge for him in this in this game one. He really wants it. You see him throwing out all sorts of sigs, but it's a matter of hey, if he can hit it. Even if he does take this game one, though, like he is in the lower bracket. Nice, gets the stock. But that means that he has to win two best of fives right against Sandstorm here. Right, we're is... going to have to see a reset if Ethan wants yeah. to take it all the way. Yeah, yeah, and I mean... We, we all know how hard it is to take a set off of Sandstorm, let alone two back-to-back, -back because, right. like, I think, sir, as you're saying, like, the more he plays, the better he gets. Yeah, he just he's just up. charging up each game. Okay. Pretty even mm. here, but gotta Slightly watch for even. those side stakes. So side stakes off stage. All right, the Nair will disarm Sandstorm. In a good spot to finish the stock off. It is Small Brawl Haven. D-Light Nair could have gone for the recovery. Didn't want it, though. It is so close. Sansom just follows Ethan back to stage. Nice. Side air is going to do it. There it is. That was a fun no game No signatures. Point. Just kept it nice and clean right there at the end. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah that, was, that was definitely them having a little bit of fun with their, yeah. uh, their best of five. They've got uh, at least two more games, minimum. Yeah. 
that was a but yo that was a great I'm, I'm excited to see the rest of the set that was just a that was just a fun one they were you could tell they were having fun against each other you know especially because they stopped for a quick solo um, <laughs> but also like the plays have just been clean yeah they've just been clean and we're going back to brawlhaven Yeah, we're seeing some great Brawlhalla here. You know, it's mm -hmm. fun, and it's good. What more can you ask for? Oh, you know what it is? You saw Sandstorm's avatar. He has the secret tech. Oh. I actually didn't catch his, uh, his avatar. What is it? It's the it's the, the season two floppy disk from ah. Battle Pass. Yeah, it says secret tech on it. But this explains his signature usage then. Yeah. Yeah. So um, Ethan, Sandstorm, you got any more of that box, secret man. tech? Yeah, I mean, e I mean, Ethan can't win against Secret Tech, right? Like, come on. That's just too secret. But Ethan is getting a <laughs> lot of damage right here. Yeah. I mean, he's in a clear lead right now. Did he steal the floppy disk from Sandstorm? Oh, oh snap. Spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Hang on. Still a good spot for Ethan. It was oh. a really good strength from Sandstorm to even, essentially, even the damage back up. But Ethan still could get, like, one single okay, ground okay. pound. Nice. Yeah, there it is. Nice from Ethan. That's a lead. That's a that's a not a great lead, but a it's still it's a good lead. It's healthy, yeah. Alright, Ethan, let's see you get a little bit more damage here before Sansa never oh, no. gets this KO. Ooh. Even though Brawlhaven has got a, a high ceiling, gets the neutral air KO. And Sandstorm back on that scythe now. Ethan yeah. with the bow. I'm gonna call that a disadvantage right now. Sandstorm on the scythe, no matter who he's <clears> against, <throat> is a disadvantage for his opponent. Wow. <laughs> Ethan oh. not afraid though. He's going off stage and he's 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 putting that he's keeping that pressure. That was, that was a pretty uh, big call out too. A bold like, ground pound. Yo, oh, he oh, wanted it. Sand, he's going for he's going for it now. My goodness, man. He's trying to style his heart out. D sig oh, and Sandstorm takes another. D -Sig. Oh boy! And the little guitar solo, bringing us into <laughs> Ethan's last talk. Ah, oh, Sandstorm's just been so good with these signatures, and you see, like he's starting to get away with a lot. Yo, he's just in Ethan's head. Yo, the the floppy disk is just a scan of Ethan's brain. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Ethan, okay. let's go. Still, yeah. I mean, when Sandstorm's got that that brain scan, um. Being in red, it's not good. All right, what's what's the plan here, Sandstorm? Sig. All right, neutral Sig. And Sig yeah. to finish. And Sandstorm's one oh, away from being our our little exhibition champion, being yeah. crowned the uh, the best Moonin in the game. Yeah, the Moonin champion, yeah. honestly. Um, yeah, wow, Sandstorm. Like they've been. I think both games have been down to last stock, but like. Going into that last dog, Ethan has been in the red every time, and that's that's a hard a hard place to be against Sandstorm. Yeah, I mean he's he's doing great, and he's getting further than than a lot of players have. Yeah, yeah, um, and I think he's is he the one of two. I mean, he did take a game off of Sandstorm. I mean, so did Pierre, <clears throat> but Sandstorm's looking good for a three zero uh, grand finals here. He's, he's looking good to uh, to run away with this one. And uh, what that really means is for the Brahala community, no one else gets to run community colors Hugin. Moon is right? <laughs> a Hugin, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's right. This is, can't do this it. Is sandstorm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go, oh, Ethan. Oh, Ethan says, what let's go. Say? Ethan with another huge bow play, right? Like, we kept saying, like, Ethan's strong weapon is the scythe, but now he's got two solid clips with the bow. Going in in this last, well, in this third match. Oh, oh Ethan, no, no, okay. no, man. Okay. Oh, the little reversal there. He's but good. Ethan makes it back. Nice <laughs> patience. Call out. Huge call out from Ethan there. Oh, D6 for uh -huh. D6. Sandstorm's high. I'm loving these double D6. Yeah, this has been great. Oh, wow. They, they're just going for it. Ethan Sandstorm went for the ground pound. In the orange now on his second <laughs> stock. <laughs> He's flapping his wings. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. All right, Ethan on on the scythe, which we've been saying is his stronger weapon, but again, like his bow plays have been oh, so good. Oh, 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 Ethan, another one. You love to see it. Such good space control with that one. Like Sandstorm tried to reaction dodge, but he just dodged along the line. 
Yeah. I love seeing this, Ethan. I want to see more of this, Ethan. I need to see a game four, at least. Yeah, this is that got nothing nice. to lose. Let's go. Ethan controlling the game Not right now. Not letting Sandstorm back. And That's there it is. Go, oh, dude. and the stage there spike, it, too. A two stock. Ethan. What a pop Where has this been, my guy? The Bodvar I don't know, but I want to see more of it. I, <clears throat> I am so glad we're going to another game. Run it back to Demon Island, bud. Let's see it again. Absolutely popping he, off in that he last game. Bars for himself. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Ethan in post game gave himself a Pogvar. Let's go. He deserved it, hundred percent. We're going back to Demon Island. This is uh, the map where Ethan did the best so far. See a little yeah, side I, again. I'm excited. A after that, like this, this could be so much closer. I think anyone would think. Like they see, <laughs> you know. New, new legend with a scythe, exhibition, sandstorm, they think that's it, right? But Ethan showing that he is holding his own, and more than that, getting really good clips on sandstorm, who's, I mean, the clip god. Yeah, I mean, those are two solid, I think that's two solid clips from Ethan today, or was that the third one? No, that's like four now, yeah. like he's been popping off. I've said it a, I've said it a bunch of times, but. Yeah. Whew. Nice big Ooh. end stick from Ethan. Ethan trying to take that first stock. It's close. He's charging it. He needs to finish That's the stock. <laughs> These D6, dude, they both have been going for him. And they have been working, oh. but like, when you throw out so many, like one of those bound it. I mean, it is such a fun signature to use. It is, man. I, I feel Sand like uh, Sandstorm's using the emotes right after doing the D-Sig to be like, look, I can just do three different guitar riffs. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> nice, nice. That's, and that's evened up 100%. I don't think he got hit once, if, uh, even there. Nice, Sandstorm. You'd love to see it. Nice. Sandstorm's getting longer strings than Ethan, though, so okay. Ethan's got to... Oh. Nice. Okay, I was gonna Let's say go. Ethan's got to turn it around a little okay. bit, and he Still has. Oh. oh, he almost got that. If he had gotten punish. over the corner, yeah, and bow grab pound so strong, right? That could have been a KO. Oh, Ethan's without a dodge. Nice, makes it back. This has been really back and forth, and both players have been getting just great plays against each other. This is so much fun to see. Yo. Dude, his spacing is so good. Like you're right, man. He's right Ooh. around it, but he eats the down sig. Speaking Finally. of, yeah. Speaking of, perfect spacing on that down sig, sending Ethan to his last stock. Mhm. Mm I honestly am rooting for Ethan here because I just want to see at least a game five. This has been a really fun set. Nice. Okay. Me too. Me too. Throw out enough. <laughs> throw out enough side sigs. They're gonna hit, right? Let's see it. Nice. Okay, patience from Ethan, trying to get a good read on Sandstorm, but Sandstorm's switching up his dodges really well. Is Ethan was starting to get a bit of a read. We saw in stock two there, uh, off the left side of the stage. But, uh, oh yeah, yeah, Sandstorm's doing really oh, well at dodging oh. away from that. And getting good punishes, oh, what's he thinking? Okay. This is bad for Ethan, starting to Going sweat. Going for that slide charge neutral suit. Yeah. We haven't seen that one connect just yet, but... Yeah, I, think off we've seen, I think we've only seen like Cody Travis land one of those, but people have been going for it. Oh, nice. Relatively Ethan, uh, relatively even, but Ethan's. Uh, hey, it's relatively bad. Ethan too. It's relatively Ethan here. Oh, the weapon toss, oh, sandstorm. Boy, he's got so much yeah. control here. Oh, neck and, and neck. he's got so many options too, right? Like so much can KO here. Barely escapes that down sig. Oh my goodness. Oh, nice. <laughs> there it is. Of course. Ends with a dancing. Sandstorm is going to be the uh, Moon and Exhibition champion, playing that Hoogan community colors. Remember, chat. Nobody else can can have that color scheme anymore. That's his. <laughs> That's his man. Yeah, really well played from from everyone. But like Sandstorm ended up bringing it out, but Ethan had some incredible plays as well, right? But you know, I mean, what else is there to say? Sandstorm. Uh, He's the world champion for a reason. <laughs> yeah. 
definitely a, a fun one. I, I honestly, I think they want to play more. Like they're already locked in, <laughs> ready to go for more. Uh, I know that we want to watch more, but uh, yeah. technically speaking, the the uh, exhibition is over. I don't know if we're allowed to just be like, "Hey, keep going." I don't know. <laughs> but Do either I way. <laughs> no, no, it's it's over. Sandstorm wins um, with a pretty like a, a great run, right? Like he dropped two games here and there, but overall incredible run. We saw like some really nice off stage plays as we were expecting. It's Sandstorm. It's gonna happen. But again, uh, Ethan held on really, really well. Ethan definitely had um, some good pops at the very least. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sirs, how do you feel about uh, today in this exhibition? Okay, so I mean, my predictions aside, <laughs> we have we, we saw some great Brawlhalla today, especially in those final few matches. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, just great bow play, great scythe play, and uh, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited for you know seeing Moon in the tournament, whenever that yeah. is, and uh, and I think I think you know if this exhibition is is any evidence, we're going to see some great plays from Moonin. Yeah, Will be I fun. can't wait to see uh, the clips on Twitter. You know, Moonin's out now. You could play. You could play her. You could do the things that they were doing all through this exhibition, right? Um, yeah, can't wait. I mean, if y'all got some good Moonin clips, you get, be sure to app Rohala. I want to see those. Um, but, but, but that's on, it for us. Yeah. On that note, Dude, we want to thank the uh, the players for playing. Yeah. Of course, uh, volunteering their time to come be a part of this exhibition. Of course, uh, showing off some good stuff. Thank you, Slosh and Surus, and I guess I can thank myself too. I don't know how this works, but <laughs> thank uh, you. Duke. It was fun. Yeah. Thanks, Duke. Thanks for being here, man. <laughs> And thank you, thank you for the thank you. But yeah, also yeah. thanks production. This has been great fun. Um, yeah, I guess that's yeah, I it. Think, I think we're good. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Of course, we've got plenty more streams. Brahala.com slash schedule. Autumn Championships this weekend. Uh, but that's it. I don't know if there's anything else planned, but uh, we'll let you all go. Bye. Yeah. Moonin's out now. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone.